Once was a man named Chris Redfield, a man with power beyond your wildest dreams. But he had made an oath, one which he could not break. I swear to you, Claire, I will find you a man so that one day the Redfield bloodline may carry on. And with this promise, he set out into the world to fulfill it, allowing no obstacle to bar his path. Yo! Yo, 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 yo! Ethan, just give it up, Winter. Ethan, just give up, escaping. Ethan, just give up your semen. Ethan, just give it, give, give it, it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Why? Here's how the story goes: you find out by the village in the mountains where Ethan's no doubt. There's werewolves and snow and guns everywhere, but none of that matters. He's gonna fuck Claire. Yeah yo, yeah yo, yeah yo. His name is Winters. That's Ethan Winters. But he'll become a Redfield. Come a Redfield? How will that happen? Yo ho ho, you're gonna give her cum cum. Ya yo, ya yo. Don't matter how fast you run and where you go, I will be right there anywhere on the globe. I'll get rid of the women in your life except for my sister. I'll make her your wife. Ya yo, ya yo, ya yo. Oh, oh. Just fuck my sister. Welcome! Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome, everybody, to the Resident Evil 7 stream! How's it going? Hey, yo! Cool. I'm so excited! <laughs> fucking perfect music to start this fucking nightmare! Hey, weird name! Hey, Sora! Hey, Neon the Cartoon! Hey, Turtle King! Hey, Crizzy! Meredith! Another Seafoam Jester! Hey there, x Nan. Hey, GV! Hey, Radiant, Jen, hello there, Ruby Bites, Quest, hey, Ostimus Alex, Old Man Games, 
Hey, Egg, Drew Age, Capricile, Ultima Wolf Plays. I like that everyone, I like, like, everyone that loves the Resident Evil streams is here tonight. Fuck yeah. Mm. Fuck yeah. Welcome. I see everyone that I usually see in the Resident Evil, like, streams is here to, like, watch this one. Because this one's special. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Welcome. Uh, Sack, aka Pastor Spec, uh, to a season four of the Fisnum streams, and welcome back, Nick, for season four as hello, well. Hello. How are you guys hello. feeling? I am doing wonderful. I mm. feel amazing. Mm. <laughs> I the the moment the moment I get to be on a stream for anything Resident Evil related, it's like that. That's enough energy for the rest of the day for me. Fuck yeah, <laughs> Nick. Uh, well. Ignoring the fact that I can't see shit, uh, I'm really excited. Well, you have like, to have the stream on the on on another monitor. Like I, I just have the music. No, 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 no. I, I don't mean it that way. I don't mean it that way. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, I don't understand what you're talking about. What are you saying? Uh, <laughs> um, never mind. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to to, to be here. You know. Did the eye operation go well? Uh, three seven nine sure. eleven. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Caprasal, for the four months. RE7, my beloved. Thank you, Korak the Mad, for the 11 months. Good to see you back Good again. Good to see you Loving back again. Look. Thank you. Loving your look. Ah. All right, bro. Before we start the stream, uh, I am currently, like, uh, drinking some uh, beautiful uh, uh, carbonated Ooh. water. Hey, Sora, thank you for the $3. Looking forward to seeing RE7 gameplay for the first time. <gasps> You're going in blind Ooh. to this? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, we can't spoil it. Okay, if Sora, okay, if people are going into this blind, I didn't consider that. We need to not spoil Welcome the future the parts of this fine. game. I love you. Oh, it's gonna be so hard for me, oh, too! Okay, fine. I won't I spoil it for Sora Studios. Also, no, also, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Also, also, Sora, Sora Studios. Anyways, Nick will never find treasure. He's the worst pirate. Actually, I forgot how appropriate the One Piece theme was at the start of the stream. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Seabass, for the two dollars. RE7. I'm also going blind. RE7. Yeah. RE7 was my first RE game, so I'm excited. Thank you, Seabass. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Sad. Like, I, I, I was actually, I was actually gonna bring up. I find it really interesting because before the stream started. We were talking about the fact that like uh, Resident Evil 7 was both mine and Nick. You said it was your first too, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Fuck. Yeah, so like, I find it I find it really interesting how many people started the series with Resident Evil 7. Cause like, when you think about it, like Resident Evil kind of like started this downward spiral after five. Oh yeah. Or after four, after four, I should say. Um, Cause five was like the beginning of it, but six <clears throat> it really got bad. And then like, Seven was like the thing that everyone started talking about the series for again. Like that was the thing that made Resident Evil popular again. I Cause think. it swerved the fuck off the current like road that it was going through. And yes. like, yeah. And like, and like the series took a long break like after Revelations 2 and like, it, it looked like the series was like never going to return ever again because like the critical reception and like sales were I going down and like everyone thought the Resident Evil was dead before seven. It was as dead as Silent Hill is now. <laughs> oh, oh, why? Why'd you have to say <laughs> that? That hurts. It's my first Stop. Game. No, no, but it, it's it was just. I'm just saying that this game, game is special to me and a lot of people because either you started with it, or it is the right re like revitalization of the thing that you loved when you were a kid. So yeah. Either the old guys get to be happy again with what Resident Evil is now, or you get to go into a series that is now in its new golden age, you know? Yeah, exactly. And like, dude, I just, I have so many fond memories of this one in particular too for what it did. Because I was saying like before the stream started, like when Resident Evil 7 came out, I was in like seventh grade. Like I was, I was, I was still like a kid. And I remember like everyone I knew was talking about this game and how it was like the new scariest thing ever. And everyone was like, oh, you gotta play Resident Evil 7. And one thing I'm really excited for about the stream is that because my first time playing 7 was when I was a kid, 
I have so many stories about me being like cartoonishly afraid of this game. <laughs> uh, I got Nick into the Resident Evil series. Yeah. And uh, excuse me, because like I have a really bad memory, so I don't know specifically how this went down. But I told him either start with Resident Evil 2 remake or seven. I think. Welcome to the family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it was around the time where Ari Resident Ari Evil Village game. came out, Can't and wait I to asked some delightful, uh, scary fun with spaghetti to tell me, and slime uh, guy. Which will oh, be a good point to start too? it. Yes. Cool. You know? It looked good. Like the new game looked super good. So I wanted to play it. The 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 thing is, and I always tell people this: either start with Resident Evil Seven or Resident Evil 2 Remake, because these are the best entry points for the series. You might be a bit confused about some details with Resident Evil 2, but Resident Evil 7 is like a barrel, soft reboot the of the series, jacket, you know? And a pencil neck yeah. that's Which is, is very funny that you say that, because again. I always recommend people start with RE2 Remake, but whenever I was trying to get my siblings into the series, I, mm -hmm. they started with 7, and then they immediately played Village, because, like, it, it, it was funny, they were like, I don't really care too much for zombies and oh. like this kind of horror stuff. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. we'll start with seven. A bit insulting, seven. but all right. Eight. I know I was very insulted, but you know, I let them, <laughs> I let them have it. Um, and I was like, okay, we'll start with seven. We'll play village. And by the time they finished those two games, my sister was like, please, I need to play all of them. I need to play the rest. I need to play the whole I need more. <laughs> I need more content. And now two is like her favorite game ever. And it's not like, so it's not like, it would have been like, if Resident Evil 7 was a complete swerve in another direction, then you wouldn't have those past games to enjoy, Hi, right? But no, Resident Evil 7 is a true return to form in many, in many ways. Have fun with the army like, absolutely, like, smiley face. dude, I, I, was, I was telling Nick while we were on the starting soon screen, I wholeheartedly believe that more than any other Can Resident Evil game, Seven embodies the survival the horror aspect of the, the series better than any other game. Yes. So it, them, it is like everyone when it first like was teased and like announced and like like the trailers came out everyone was so worried that this game was going to be just like a, an outlast clone you know like it was going to uh, completely yes. divorce Resident itself Evil from survival 7. horror and the it was just going to be a series like a linear series of scares like Everyone was worried that Capcom was gonna completely sell out the franchise to like get a, get some cash cow out of like the modern of horror Seven games that were coming out at the time, you know? And Arnie, Seven no, Resident yeah, because it was I, the best. Because <laughs> I remember too. I remember too. Everyone thought it was gonna be an Outlast clone, but a lot of people also thought it was gonna be a PT clone. Yes, because of the demo. Uh, yeah, the the demo was very PTS. The the demo a hundred percent took inspiration and that, like wholesale like took the whole like empty and like alone atmosphere of pt to like sell the game to people like <laughs> hold on a second uh i'm gonna have to read these because like a lot is coming in right now this all right is going to be fun. let me read these out uh thank you fenclix for the super chat uh for the one canadian dollar thank you gallium angel for the five dollars welcome to the family son i love ethan so much he's the most base protagonist ethan is great in seven but i think eight is when he just gets the like to the to the tier of like Leon when it comes to like protagonists. Mm -hmm. uh, it was what made yeah, him my favorite uh, RE protagonist. Just like yeah, the determination. It, yeah, because even in seven, it's kind of kind of like an empty shell. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be to represent the the player, you know. But in Village, he kind of becomes his own character in a way. Like which is good, Ethan, Ethan. People joked about Ethan in Seven being high, this like the Terminator high, that doesn't care about anything high, and just acts like a normal person in these weird, Resident wacky, Evil 7, uh, like so Resident Evil adventures. And the then stream. Eight came along and they made him into like this legitimately crazy person, like stupid himbo crazy person, like I. <laughs> It's like, like, oh my, like, there is no other Resident Evil protagonist that has the same amount of drive and determination that motherfucking Ethan Winters has. As just yeah. being a regular guy that takes on an, an entire village of X-Men, basically. Man fights vampires, Magneto, the creature from the Black Lagoon, like... And he's just like, oh, that was weird, I guess. Anyways, I was rescue, I will rescue my baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that happened. It's like, dude, are you are you <laughs> visit a therapist, dude? Everyone. What the fuck? <laughs> Looks like your outsides match your insides, you crazy witch. The best thing about Ethan is that his one-liners are lame. 
mess. He's, he he <laughs> talks I like a pass. dad. You yes! He talks like a dad yeah, trying yeah. to be cool. Re like, Ethan in Resident Evil 7 and 8 talks like he thinks yeah. like he's cool, but he's just like completely failing at it. But he's still, <laughs> but he's still surviving. He's so fucking adorable. I love him. Anyways, thank you, uh, thank you, Maka, for the for, for welcome to the talk success bit. Thank you, Potato God, for the seven months. I might watch the RE movies with my brother. <gasps> I, uh, oh. I mean, I mean, just grab some co popcorn and don't take them seriously. Uh, Hey, David Barron, uh, thank you for the seven Canadian dollars. This game is pretty okay, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Chrissy. Like, for, hmm? I was just saying, it's like David's like favorite game. <laughs> thank you, Chrissy, for the five euro. At last, my first RE game. RE8 and RE4 are my favorite, but it's thanks to seven that I got into a Resident Evil. Ethan is the best character after Leon. Exactly. Uh, thank you, Ashton Miller, for the three dollars. I am giving Apostra the most powerful weapon on RE7. No spoilers, but you know what it is. I don't know what that means. Uh, Tony Sonic donates oh, ten. Don Tony Sonic donates ten dollars and says, "Welcome to the family, sons. You're finally streaming my favorite Resident Evil game. Can't wait to spend some delightful, scary, fun time with Spaghetti Man and the Slime Guy. Oh, and Nick's here too. That's cool, dude. He's a pirate. Pirates are super fucking cool." Thank you, Coco, for the five dollars. Nick is going into this blind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tony Sonic, for the twenty dollars. Hey, you three! Since I am now practicing my drawing skills, the plushies ha have been start starting to watch me. So to distract them, I cover them with a blanket and let them watch videos. Do you three have any recommendations for them to watch? You should probably do A Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, or... Mm, uh, the Resident Evil movies. I think that would be in theme. Mm -hmm, Thank mm -hmm. you, Aaron Mew, mm -hmm. for the five dollars. Hi, Pastra. Got my Clyde plush a few so weeks ago. Hopefully, it doesn't Ranger kill me in the long run. Have fun with the oh my god! I can't make any promises, but that's great. <laughs> Thank you, Kimiko, for the five dollars. RE Seven is the game that got me back and all and play all the other Resident Evil games. So I'm hype. Yeah, like even in this chat, even in this chat, you have people that were like, "Yeah, Resident Evil Seven was my first, You know? It's like, yeah, exactly. Like that's fuck. the point I was making. Resident Evil Seven was so important to the series because it was so many people's entry point because people actually talked about it. And like, I'm pretty sure that it didn't sell as well as Resident Evil Five or Six. I like, don't believe so. Remember. Can you check that, Nick? Is like, I'm okay. pretty sure that it sold less than the other games in the franchise, but the critical reception just like shot it up to like number one for like some people, you know? Uh... Do, do you remember how the game had a common criticism that it was too scary? <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, <gasps> Phil, hmm? actually it's the fourth uh, best selling Capcom game of all time. Uh, oh. What are the others? Uh. The third one is Resident Evil 2 remake. I mean, oh, okay. uh, and I don't know which or which wait. One. So it outsold five and four. That doesn't okay, okay, sound right. I got right. it. I got it. I got it. Uh, the first two are the Monster uh, Hunter games. As you do. And then, as you do. And then there's a uh, Resident Evil 2 remake, and okay. then there's Resident Evil Seven. Oh, so it completely outsold all of them then. Yeah. Wow. Holy I mean, shit. Okay. I I, I thought wow. that it. Because Resident Evil 6 and 5 sold like game. fucking hotcakes off like the coattails of 4. Yeah, like that, that was the thing. Like, thing. like those games weren't game. as good, but like 4 was so revolutionary okay. that everyone wanted to play 5 and huh. 6. Okay, so. Okay, so the Nick posted the full list. So this is number one Monster Hunter World, obviously. Monster Hunter Rise, obviously. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Resident Evil. Se oh my god, and it's only like. Like, Resident Evil 7 is below RE2 by, like, only, like, 200,000 copies. Holy shit. Monster Hunter World, again. Resident Evil 5, 6, Village, and 3. Okay. It kinda hurts my soul that Village sold less than 6. Uh... It's like... We, we could talk about uh, that in the Resident Evil 8 stream. Resident Evil 6 oh. came out. <laughs> I uh. will talk about that in that stream. 
Oh, God. What is it, Nick? Oh, uh, remake got me into the series. Uh, <clears throat> to be fair, Resident Evil 6 the rest came of the out games. a while ago. It did. And Village yeah. came out, like, a couple of years ago. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Resident Evil 6 has, like, the history of, like, the cell somehow compared to Resident Evil 8. Together, and That's now true. That's true. I, wake That's true. Up their I think it'll eventually down. surpass it, in Should my I opinion. Be scared? Uh, okay, let's continue with this. Uh, Octo Joker donates two dollars. Nice car, Ethan. <laughs> that is that is my favorite quote in the entire RE series. I'm gonna be saying that shit so often during the stream. I hope. you Wait, know. How, how do you get it? How do you get it? You have to like. You have to. You have to during the Jack Baker boss fight. You have to unlock the box in the garage, and you mm -hmm. have to get into the car. Jack will yeah. go and grab you through the window and go. Okay, nice okay. car, Ethan. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. I will do that. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for the fox. Art of a boy. Thank you for the fox for the two dollars. RE7 was the best comeback for the series after RE6. I will talk about that in detail as we go along. Hi, sorry if this is a weird uh, question. Is second. it okay to make an animation of five? Thank you, cat dude. Also, hi, all you all hope for the five dollars. Ah, the slime man in a barrel, the spaghetti in a jacket, and the pencil neck that's currently blind. Glad to see you three again. Thank you. Pencil. -neck. Thank you, Retro, for the $10. Ah, yes, Resident Evil 7, Damn, the most okay. accurate depiction of Louisiana in fiction. The setting is so fucking cool! I know! I can't wait to actually get into it and just look at all the set pieces again. Uh, I know that I'm kind of stalling right now, but, like, everyone's got to get their donations out because we're not going to be able to, like, stop and talk about whatever people are donating for because, like, we're just going to be nerding out after this is over. So, like, I'm just, like, running through these donations. Um... Uh, Thank you, Friss, for the three months. It's kind of ironic that seven is the number of luck. RE7 revived Resident Evil. Thank you, the Craw Narrator, for the membership. Thank you, Dalad, for the super chat. Uh, finally catching a stream with all three of you. This is going to be fun. Thank you, Delta Critical, for the $2. RE7 is my favorite RE game. This will be a blast. Yes, yeah, so... I love it for many reasons, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite for a bunch of reasons that I talk with Nick. Especially when it comes to replayability. Like, this game suffers a lot from... It because you can't skip the cutscenes and a lot of other stuff, you know? Um, mm. We're not going to be doing Madhouse mode, by the way. I don't want to be here Thank for 12 God. hours. <laughs> I, was, I was actually saying, before the stream started, I was yeah. saying to Nick, like, I really hope he doesn't do Madhouse. <laughs> I'm really scared. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm crazy, and I know that I can go on for a very long time, but, like, this game... I want to play RE games as they're meant to be enjoyed, and Madhouse mode is obviously for a second playthrough. You know? Yeah, because it's kind of a whole different experience, you know? It adjusts your expectations based on what you played originally. So the normal mode for this game is the intended experience. Usually for Ooh. other RE games, like the professional or like the hardcore mode is usually the intended experience. So I usually go with those. But with this one, I am going to go in normal mode. So don't worry. Don't worry. Thank God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe he should play Madhouse in another stream, stream, you know? Like a bonus members only, something like that? Yeah. yeah. I could also do the DLCs. I mean, we're not going to do the DLCs this stream. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, but Joe Baker. We're going to do we're gonna do the... The man. The manly man double wombo combo stream with, like, Chris's <laughs> and, like, Joe's campaign. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Breadboxer, for the five dollars. A hundred percent in Resident Evil Seven, so I'm very excited to watch the stream. Thank you. Thank you, Chucky Skip, for the membership. Thank you, Flame Moon, for the two uh, pound. Easily the best RE game ever. Almost no flaws. I wouldn't say that, but thank you. Uh, thank you, Coco, for the ten dollars. Rest in peace, Silent Hills. You will be missed. Oh, oh man. RE, the 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 demo for RE Seven is not nearly as well constructed as like pt so yeah oh yeah not even close it, it was a good way of like sending out the message that this game would be focused on horror but it definitely does not live up to pt when it comes to scariness it tried and it did some good shit with the vhs tapes but yeah not even close uh mm -hmm. thank you piss week for the ten dollars i have made pizza for everyone thank you Old Man Games has been a member for 14 months. Will you do the DLC? Yes, but in a future stream. Thank you, Simon Komolowski, for the super chat. Thank you, Xnan, for the two months. Hello, I'm back. I'm glad that you're back for season four a lot. I really enjoy your streams. Thank you. Thank you, Rice Man, for the five pounds. My all-time favorite game. The game. This game combines all the right elements in all the right ways to create the perfect, unique survival horror game. Oh. <laughs> 
Thank you, Wubble Gaming, for the $2. Opinions on Indigo Park? I will stream it and check it out. It looks pretty cool. Like, I don't have that much strong opinions on it right now. It hasn't even released. Thank you, Slim the Hedgehog, for the two euro. He mopped the X-Men while quipping. He's Spider-Man. Thank, Thank you, Hyper Onions, for the super chat. Guys, <gasps> thought on the army for remake? Looks like Harper Onions is trying to bait me into talking about Resident Evil re 4 Remake. I will not do that. <laughs> but good try, though. Good try. Thank you, Ghostly Souls, for the $20. You guys are such oh, a huge TTS inspiration to me. I'm so glad I get to watch one of your streams. Thank I you. am so excited to see you play RE7. Yeah. I hope you guys have a super fun time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dakana, for the $5. It makes sense that Ethan's one-liners one are lame. He is literally a dad. The Crooked kit Kitter for the five pound. My Clyde and Five Plush arrive together, and now whenever I wake up, they're staring me down. Should I be scared? Yes. Thank you, Moonlit Gamer, for the ten dollars. Thank you, Baby Dolinks, for the ten dollars. I'm sorry if this is a weird question, but is it okay to make animations of five? I mean, absolutely. Any fan art is great. I love fan art. It's the one of the best parts about streaming, in my opinion. Thank you, Joe Samuel, for the super chat. Thank you, Purple Max, for the three dollars. Hi, Phil. Not gonna stick around because I got Roblox Funny Moments edits to post. I would suggest you install the Simpsons mod for the dinner scene. Also, any tips for RE One? Not right now, at the moment. Purple Max, we're focusing on RE Seven. Thank you, Munchkin, for the three dollars. Will you also do the DLC? Yes. Thank you, D Dito Duo, for the five dollars. Thank you, Ghostly Ghouls, for the twenty dollars. Harperonius for the five pound. System for the two pound. Thank you, Leo, for the five dollars. And thank you, Willy B Man, for the membership. Yeah. Is, is, is that it? <laughs> That's it. Are we at the end? Don't don't don't, don't, don't say that because they're gonna start again. Don't say that. Don't say that. that. Don't no, say that. No. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Phoebe okay. Thomas, for joining the talk success. But anyway, now's the time. It's time. It's time. Hi. Let's go. Oh my god. One way trip to Louisiana. Well, all my friends on the back of the track. Why is the chat not loading? There we go. It's loading. Hold on a I second. I love this title screen. <laughs> I messed around with the volume settings. Hopefully, what? the volume is going to be all right. Um, all right. Ah. All right. Ew, what the fuck was that sound? I was drinking. <laughs> what the fuck? I was drinking. Like the, that sounded like the most refreshing sip yeah. of water. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it has ice in it. Also, already, already I want to start gushing, by the way. This fucking this title name. screen. I know, like... This has like one of the most unique vibes to any Resident Evil title screen. It's not some like big dramatic like look over a city or like something like teasing the game setting. It's just like this sort of like weirdly like somber like desk. Weirdly melancholic too for some reason. Oh, by the way, chat, uh, just to tell you how fucking like, even though this is a horror game, this is back to where Resident Evil was, back to survival horror and back to like the actual scary game route. Resident Evil is still stupid. Like, everyone loves how stupid Resident Evil can get. And this game, even though you have a cassette tape here, and the game has a lot of VHS tapes, this game takes place in <laughs> 2017! Yeah. <laughs> but for some reason, it still uses VHS tapes and cassettes. Because, you know, it's cool, and Resident Evil is just stupid like that. Oh, well. But yeah, like, th this game takes place... It's not a soft reboot. Everyone was so worried that this was a soft I reboot, you know? Like, 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 like a hard reboot. It as my um, favorite or third favorite people thought in the entire that series. the lack I of Umbrella and all that, and all that meant that this was, like, a completely different universe. But then they got to the demo and saw the helicopter with the Umbrella logo and thought, Oh, shit! They're back! Yeah, Blue like this time! That was such, like, a cool thing about this game, especially with it being, like, my entry point into the series, is that you get into this game, and obviously, this being, like, my first Resident Evil game, I didn't know what the fucking umbrella was. <laughs> so, whenever I, like, you know, was playing through the game, I saw, like, these references to this, like, Umbrella Corporation. I was sitting there like, who the hell are these guys? I want to know who these guys are. And then I got to play, like, RE1, and I'm like, oh! It's them! Oh, my God! 
But yeah, that, that's why I recommended yeah. Nick to play this game first. Well, uh, this or Rory to Remake. Because uh, for everyone on the chat right now, if you don't know what Resident Evil is, don't worry. You're not going to be lost here. The story of this game is very self-contained within the universe. After a while, it starts opening up once you play the DLC. But in general, if you are not a fan of the Resident Evil series, you'll still be able to understand what's going on. Even though you're in the seventh entry, you don't need to understand what the fuck happened in Resident Evil 6 to understand this. Which, uh, somebody in chat asked which games are canon. That's the wonderful thing about Resident Evil. Pretty much all of them are, even the bad ones. All of them are canon, yep. but the canon only matters if they're actually referenced in the game itself. Cause, exactly. Yeah. Cause like, yeah, you know, you know what the fuck is going on in Terra Grigia? Who gives a shit about Terra Grigia for Resident Evil 7? Like, for those that don't know, the world of Resident Evil has a giant water floating mega sci-fi city that got destroyed by a giant solar laser in Resident Evil Revelations. And nobody gives a shit. <laughs> nobody ever even references it. Like, Terra Grigia existed just to get fucked up to get like a super mega sci-fi Raccoon City number two. And nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Nobody cares. I love Resident Evil so fucking much. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't play the Revelation games, I guess. No, yeah, no. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, the I like I like Revelations. Revelations is like Revelations is what Revelations is what people were afraid Seven was going to be in terms of horror. Like Absolutely. Oh, oh, no horror. Resident Evil Revelations is what people that don't understand what survival horror is thought the original games were trying to be. Linear shooty bang bang games with some linear scares with a lot of ammo, no resource conservation, and just like scripted horror sequences. Like, it's fine, but just not survival it's, horror. It's nothing to write home about, but I still like Revelations. I like the setting of it a lot. Uh, Revelations 2 is particularly good. Uh, one, I don't really like the boat, and I and the fact that you get out of the boat for the boat for like half of the game is not really my taste. Especially the winter level, the winter snowy area that was like completely fucking lame and Resident Evil 6 esque. Okay. Revel yeah. Revelations 2 was like practically a saw game in an island. That was kind of cool, but I yeah. liked it a lot. Yeah, I just I just prefer this way more. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I would take this any day, but like, all right, I, I still enjoyed it. All right, shall we start? Yes, yes. All right, new yeah. game. And remember, Madhouse, not Mad, yeah. not Madhouse. No no and remember, just like Sora, and if you know, like, if for all the people that are just experiencing this for the first time, no spoilers. Okay, that's but really funny considering that you just spoiled the game a little bit before. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about I it. I can't like, make any promises, man. The Jack Baker <laughs> sequence is going to happen in like 30 minutes. Don't worry. Uh, just... Oh, let's go. <clears throat> oh, this intro. I just wanted to send a quick hello and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Yay! Yay. Everything's gonna be good. Everything's Everything gonna be fine. So happy. Yeah. Oh. Fuck me, by the way. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, yeah. <laughs> this is me, by the way. Oh. The whistle blew. Yeah, thank you. It's also funny that RE6 is never mentioned ever in RE7 or 8. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Away. Yeah. <laughs> Such a Japanese line. <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately, Ethan doesn't like listening to directions. Ethan doesn't give a fuck. Ethan <laughs> yeah. does not give a shit. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Yeah. All right. You all 
right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Was it Revelations 1 originally she's a 3DS game? She's back. They found her? How? How? What happened? I don't know. Look. I don't know how. Thank but she's you. back. She's back somehow. I've had Maybe a dark thought. Does 9 11 still happen in the Wii universe? Or was Raccoon don't. City the 9 11? How does this game look photorealistic? World? I mean, this is a recording. I know, I know. But right, what, but what like sometimes it? when like the lighting gets out, yeah, yeah, sometimes. This stream while I'm like this. Such. There no, wait, the, the outside is still a recording. So say hi to your plush <laughs> counterparts for me. Wait, is it in game? Oh, it is. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure it's in game. <laughs> Shit. One hell of a jumping on point. Enjoy the game. Shit, it is. I thought it was a recording. Okay, yeah, it is photorealistic. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Proving my points. <laughs> Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> I think your Joe one knows for the five dollars. This is the place. I love this opening. Eyes on the road, Ethan. I always love like the trend of a Resident Evil game starting with like X character arriving in some creepy forest and just walking up on some big set piece. Like this. Welcome! to the Baker Estate. God! I put this- I... I put this house on the thumbnail for a reason. This shit is just as iconic as the Spencer Mansion. Mm-hmm. Even though it has a completely mm -hmm. different vibe. The Spencer Mansion is very, like, gothic and, like, old tiny and, like, super grand. But this is just, like, some fuckers, like, in Louisiana's house. I think, like, I think every single area in this game is super memorable to me for one reason or another, which is not something you get to say often with Resident Evil games. I find there's always at least one area that's, like, kind of forgettable. A lot of people like, complain about the gunplay of this game. And, like, the movement of Ethan. But what you don't understand is that this game is, like, built as if you were playing a old, like, um... How you call it? A an old tank-controlled game, but in first person. The forward movement of Ethan is so much faster than the backwards movement, which makes like backing up and shooting enemies extremely hard. Which is supposed to, because you're not supposed to actually phase the enemies and shoot them while you're going back. When you're going back, you're supposed to like either run away from them or shoot them while you're standing still, like in. A classic survival horror, Resident Evil, like, tank-controlled game. Yeah, which, like, can I just say, like, it is astounding how this was the first Resident Evil game to ever be in first person, and yet with the way they made the game control, it still felt right for the series. Yep. Every like, some, some people have said, like, oh, it's not survival horror unless you have tank-control third-person mechanics, and I'm like, fuck off. It's not about that. It's not about the perspective. It yeah, doesn't no. matter at all. It's all yeah. about the resources and like the atmosphere and like the, the way that the map is designed. Also, pay attention to this. Sewer Gators episode 17, Project Proposal. Sneak into a Louisiana ghost house. Oh, Join yes. us. Remember this van. It'll be important yeah. later. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play this game not like I've played it before, but just like to show off all the little details as I go. Accept her gift. Accept her gift. So, like, if you see me pausing in a lot of moments that, uh, that I shouldn't, like, this is just, like, for the audience. Because, like, I want them to experience this the way I did. I will say, too, like, not spoiling anything, but, like, I know, I know you said earlier that, like... <gasps> oh. Hello there, mystery man. But, like... What's that? I know, I know earlier you said that, like, this isn't the most exciting one to replay, at least gameplay-wise, but I always thought, like, not spoiling anything, that narratively, Resident Evil 7 is without a doubt the coolest one to replay because everything changes once you know, like, the full story. Oh, the plot, back to the, start. the twist. Everything clicks the together. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so fucking good. There's a specific fucking photo at the start of the first house yeah. mm -hmm. that goes... that that. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up now. Yeah, I know what one you're talking about. Do not worry. Also, I point that picture out every time. Ethan Winters moments. Like, oh, look at this creepy shit. Oh my god, there's corpses and stuff. 
Like, Ethan Winter's no moment number one. Oh my god, what would a per normal person do? Oh, I'm gonna go back to the car and, like, call the police. Nope! Yeah. Nope! Fuck that shit! <laughs> my uh, wife might be under way. here. Oh. Like, you know, if Leon saw that, he would go back to the car in Resident Evil 4 and, like, inform the police, but nope! Just fuck, move <laughs> forward. You don't even like, know what that is. Even an RE7 is such like an NPC of a character. He is, yeah. uh, he has a determinator. He's almost like, almost James Sunderland-esque. Like, he got a message from his wife and he's going, fuck it. You know, I'm the going. thing is, I had like such a long conversation with my buddy Lyra about this where like, I genuinely think Ethan Winters is like the anti James Sunderland of like yes. the survival horror like scene. Both is everything James is, but like the good. opposite. Oh no. Also, let's open up our inventory. Oh, that fucking uh. sound effect. Oh, okay, okay. Uh. The thing is, too, with this game, mm -hmm. the fact that your inventory doesn't pause the game. Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was talking with that. that I was talking about that with Zack before. Unlike like, ev oh, no, unlike even the remakes. This. Let's read this. This is a message from Mia. From Mia Winters, sent July 2017 to Ethan Winters, Dolby, Louisiana, Baker Farm. Come get me. And this is Mia's driver's license from Texas. How are they supposed to read that? She's got to keep it cleaner. So this is the Baker Estate guest house. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay, good. Uh, read the first letter of every option here. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I, I didn't what? I didn't fucking know that. I'm trying not to freak out what? right now. I'm trying what? not to I, shut the fuck up. I'm trying not to I'm freak sorry. out right now. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to freak out right now. I'm sorry. What? Alright, we're gonna go into the house. <laughs> you didn't know? I didn't know! <laughs> I didn't know that! I was gonna put this! What is that dead space shit? All right, here we go. <laughs> oh. What the fuck, Nick? Uh, I feel like a balloon that's about to pop right now. <laughs> this environment, oh. dude. Yeah. Iconic. Like, what the fuck also, is this? Shout out to the fact that you spend your entire time exploring this place for the first time without a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everything look so real in this game? Plague Holy Doctor. Shit. Even even beyond Resident Evil 2 as well. Yeah. Like, like, this is the first game made in the RE engine. And, like, they were Holy fucking cooking. Shit. Like, for the most part, I think this game looks more real than 8 does. Yeah. They were cooking, unlike here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Look at that dead crow. Man. It's like, that cutscene with Ethan, like, reminds me of, like, one of my favorite things about him as a character is, like, you will see, like, vampires and, like, friggin', like, crazy monsters and, like, everyone trying to kill him. And he has, like, no reaction, but he has the most <laughs> visceral reaction every time he sees a bug. <laughs> always going for the hands, dude. Always the hands. He always hands. freaks out when he when he sees bugs. He literally does say, "I hate bugs." I know he hates. Oh bugs yeah, he so does. Much. Jesus fucking Christ! I I, I, I keep thinking about that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, we need, we need to go back. We yeah, need okay, to back okay. to that for eight. The, the only thing I'm gonna say is that it's kind of weird that the 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 name for the option to to leave the game it's end, you know. Right. And... <laughs> it almost seems deliberate. Yeah. They get a fifty fifty on that. I wonder why that would be deliberate. I wonder why this would be open. It's not like there's there there was like an item here that like made players lose their fucking mind when this game's demo originally came out. 
I was so oh, fucking yeah. obsessed with that with that mannequin finger. Oh yeah, right. How long has it been since I've played this? Years? And I have a horrible memory and I still remember like the way that people went crazy on the demo and its Easter eggs and its like secrets. Yeah, the demo's you... kinda like its own unique game, really. You don't forget Resident Evil 7 in any way. Just like the other ones, iconic as hell. You for you forget Re Resident Evil 6 like real quick. I was gonna yep. say, like, I couldn't tell you the name of a single enemy from RE6 or any areas from it, but like this game. I can barely tell you the name of the, the new guy from that game. Jake. Jake. <laughs> Don't you get me started on him. Derelict House. The new Resident Evil protagonist. Oh shit, right. I have all these saves. <laughs> you reached the maximum number of save slots. Alright, we're gonna go Here's here. Save over another Yeah, I'm thing. gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna save over. Can you tell that I like Resident Evil games? Anyway. No, not, 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 not at all. Not really. Nerd! Fucking nerd! Fucking nerd! <laughs> what about this? Oh, can't open it. Nope. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, just the atmosphere. I can't get over it. Dude, okay, one thing about this game, too. That's me, yeah. One um, thing about this game, too, is like. Especially this, like, original house. God, that picture's creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, especially this original house reminds me so much of the Blair Witch Project, and that scares the shit out of me. Yes. For those that do not know, after Resident Evil 6, and, like, starting from Resident Evil 7 moving forward... I know, I'm hearing that. <laughs> uh, Capcom decided to lean into different types of horror for each of their entries. Resident Evil 8 is very gothic. Very, a lot of vampires, werewolves, creature of, from the Black Lagoon, a lot of, like, old-school horror tropes. Resident Evil 7 is slasher slash, like, modern horror movie tropes. Like, uh, the girl, the, the, the ring girl, like, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, like, Blair Witch Project. So, like, every area of this game, you will see an inspiration from those kinds of movies. I wonder what the fuck's gonna be in 9. That's what I... I keep joking about ghosts and skeletons. I mean, maybe the the yeah. I, I I would I would give a finger for the original concept, the hallucination concept of Resident Evil Four, to be a real game. That would be really cool. The hallucination virus concept of Resident Evil Four original was so fucking cool, and I would literally kill a person to be able to experience that. Like, a full game of that. Looks yeah, like, like the owners. If yeah. I got to choose for a Resident Evil 9, I'd want something that feels more supernatural. Uh, yep. Alright. I've talked with Fail before about what what they call Explore in the new game. And I was half joking about, what if they tried space horror? I mean, like, maybe. Could be. Gotta wait till the 10th entry to go to space. Yes! Yeah, somehow. Resident Evil I mean, X! <laughs> <laughs> I think you said the Dirk for the 14 months. 14 months. Oh, yeah, Keep we are now in a VHS tape. Hey, break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, God. make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. <laughs> These are the ghost hunters. I'm not feeling it. Again? I love oh, these guys so much. Change. Yeah. Man, poor like, I used to watch I used to watch shows like this so much as a kid. Then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators. Another worthless fucking shithole. Happy Ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> And th by the way, this is the same house you are currently in. Just would need to like let that sink in. Are we rolling? Because like this shit is like terrifying. If you don't know what's about to happen. 
This is how you do an analog horror, literal VHS tape. This is kind of like playable analog horror. It literally yeah. is, yeah. Holy shit. After you. And this was before, uh, uh, this, this was before analog this horror was popular. So I can replay it as blind as possible in my journey of playing every mainline re game on RE5. I think they got inspired by the Mandela I love this catalog. game so much. <laughs> I don't think they did. I'm gonna be real. I'm, I'm joking. I an anchor, you know? <laughs> I there's know, a, there's I know. random events in this tape. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. There's random events in this tape that I don't know if I'll be able to get. Or I don't know if that's only in the demo. What's the story, Andre? I think you're thinking of the demo. House, yes, okay. Family, there are... Foul play suspected. The usual. Mm -hmm. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <laughs> Three years abandoned. Clancy, get a shot of this. Great God, this away. just screams Blair Witch Project. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. He knows the lore. <laughs> Three years ago, son, Lucas. the Baker shit. family went missing on this property. Ah, shit. I know I should have worn my good shoes. Ew, you can actually see the thing that he's oh, stepped on. Yeah. Glad I had my shot. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? 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 I love that they mis Wait, misdirect did you. See where you. Andre went? With, with, with him stepping on the puddle and like him pointing out the, the painting, they misdirect you. Where is he? Into. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. They I misdirect you into you not looking at where he went. Like I think? love yeah. it. You stick with me. Like, that's how you set this kind of stuff up. And now we're alone with this guy. <laughs> this would freak me out so fucking badly. Oh, dude, I'd be leaving this house so quickly you'd hear the wind passing me. <gasps> I just love the switch in personality <laughs> when Andrew goes Actually in. scared? Yeah. Where the fuck is he? Like this sleaze bag, this absolute fucking sleaze bag. Andre, where are you, man? He's so fucking scared now. I know. <laughs> Gotta love our homie Clancy recording the whole thing still. I mean. He's dedicated to the job. Very dedicated cameraman. Aww. I'd be dropping that shit and going. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line as well. We find Andre and we go. I mean, this voice actor is so fucking good. He does such a good job. These are real people in the Resident Evil universe. Yeah. How the fuck do you have the balls to do a ghost show? In the world where Raccoon City happened. Oh god, yeah, I never <laughs> thought about that. <laughs> you know that zombies are real, right? God, so much shit has happened. First, this is 2017. Raccoon City was 15 years ago. All right. Well, I mean, they're hunting for ghosts, not zombies, and ghosts um, aren't real. Actually, well, yeah. actually, yeah. paranormal. Yeah. Yeah. It's even funnier that you say that when fucking like like Heisenberg exists on RE8. Yeah. And that look, guy has been here since like hundreds of years. Look, I can believe Magneto, <gasps> but ghosts. <laughs> Speaking of Blair Witch. Oh, hello, Andre. Looking good. You seeing the shit? Oh, man. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the thought for the Ghost Girl in the VHS tapes in the demo. But also supposed to be uh, in the main game so, with some enemy that just observe you. That tape was so that you could learn about. Hey Phil, hopping on after catching this. up with yesterday's thoughts. 
on the topic of fear and it's hunger, fucking brilliant, make sure you get it's the brilliant. version because it gets very graphic very quickly. And you can just skip it. You can just skip if you it. Know. If you just know, you know. But like, how the fuck would you know? Because like, you're walking around and like, you don't see it from here. You don't yep. see it, like you can barely see it, but like, you would never like crouch to notice that. So like, for new time players, you have to use that, and then you realize where you are, and then you turn around, and you're like, Oh, shit. <laughs> it's great, too, how the tapes are never cutscenes, either. Like, they actually allow you to play them. All playable. All playable, baby. I wish the tapes got more play, but, like, the ones that we got are, like, already good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also love how, like, like with that secret door in mind... Oh. Ethan Winters, no moment number two. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan Winters living the life of a Looney Tunes character. Like... Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, um, I'm not gonna go too much into it, because, you know, lore stuff we'll get into. But one thing I really like about this game, too, with, like, that secret door and whatnot in mind, is the fact that this game actually has a legitimately good lore reason for all the stupid Resident Evil puzzles. Yup. Oh, by the way, I love the detail of the blood being dry. Because th that happened some time ago. But you, you can see, like, the, the blood in the actual tape was, like, red. Like, crimson red. And this is just, like, gray. You know? Mm-hmm. It's, like, those little details that just make this game so special. Ugh. Uh, great, the poop water. Ethan, why would you do this? Yeah, why would you do this? <laughs> Ethan keeps moving forward no matter what. Into danger. Way. Why would your wife be it. here? Mia, are you into poop water? Mia? Yeah. Did you go into the poop water room? Marco! Paulo! Marco! Marco! <laughs> Uh, is this Ari the one with the rednecks? Yes. And a lot more, actually. Yeah! Oh, man. Andre. That is Andre's body. By the way, he very much looks like the like the, the first zombie that you would find, like, Ari 1, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, he kind of does. Thank you. Like with the with the with the scraped off like side of the face and like the the, the skeleton like showing off a little bit. Got a little Ethan seeing that like corpse too and just being like, well, gotta what? keep going. Like, like yeah, yeah, just a normal yeah, Tuesday morning trying to find my wife. <laughs> this is just fine. Nothing's gonna go wrong. That's not my wife's corpse, so I keep going. I'm sorry, Daddy. I love. Maybe he's colorblind. That way he I'm doesn't sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look at the eye. You know, just keep going. Like, and by the way, this was before Ethan, like, did the thing that made him become a real protect- ah, fuck. I don't want to spoil it, but him doing all this was before he became a Resident Evil protagonist. Yeah. Right now, yeah, he's just exactly. a regular guy. Can't get that. <laughs> This looks so real! I know! Like, why does this game look so much more real than the other ones? What did they do with this one? Yeah. Reminds no. me of that like, reminds me of the like super realistic, like uh like have you have you seen those like those games that are like they have the like the VHS filter over it and they have like the realistic like arm movement? Uh they, they were like very big on Twitter, like it was like the, those like indie games that like simulated like a cop. Camera. Yes. yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Body cam ones. It's like the body cam game, but like with without the actual like filters that force it to look realistic. Like this is just actually realistic. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't need some. It does. It doesn't need like the VHS filters or compression to like hide the flaws of it. It just looks that real. Ben dead. Harold turned. Arthur turned. 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 Craig dead. Clancy, L. Oh. Oh, Clancy took the L. Oh no. <laughs> Mia, nothing. Haiti turned. Clyde dead. Lindsay no! turned. <laughs> Clyde. <laughs> Get destroyed, Clyde. No! Also, for a survival horror game, one of the first key items that you have to use 
Fucking bolt cutters, man. <laughs> like, Resident Evil 2 has this, Signalis has this, like, every single survival, modern survival horror game has to have the fucking bolt, bolt cutters. Or some kind of variation. Resident Evil especially loves these specific bolt cutters. The, the red yeah. long ones. The same acid. <laughs> Gotta reuse them. By the oh, way, they th this, cell, room. this cell is like padded with like mattresses for some reason. It looks so fucking creepy. Yo, bitch! Wake up! It's time for your dinner! Oh, thank God I found you. It's me. Wife. It's Ethan. Ethan? Get You're wife. Right? Get wife and leave house. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Uh -huh. <laughs> Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Eve, who else is here? To... What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. What are you talking about? Daddy? We need to oh. go now. That's so fucking weird, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen me for three years, and the first thing you talk about is daddy coming. I wonder why. <laughs> no. I wonder. I wonder why they had her locked up. Oh, it's like because like they she they kidnapped her, right? That's why they had her locked up. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Of course, on? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Early. Of course. Baby, you've been no other reason. Three years. <laughs> hey, Susie. Thank you for the five dollars. The game looks so realistic because the team scanned in real items and textures to use in the game. Ah, uh, Susie says. Uh, the game looks so realistic because the team scanned in real items and textures to use in the game. That is the thing that the RE engine is built off of, like, real item scans. What, what is this but I, They did that with other what games, too. Yes, yeah. but this one was like, they over-focused on that aspect. Uh, also, originally, this, this game was built with VR in mind and VR fidelity. Remember, the, the first piece of content that we got for RE7... She's freaking out. The first piece of content that we got for RE7 was the kitchen demo. And that was like a VR only like experience that you got in like a showroom demo. And it was fucking scary as shit. So yeah, this was originally built with yeah, VR in mind. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. Sure, you fucking liar. Sure you are. Sure. Mia, are you sure you know where you're going? The family used to bring me food through here. The I family. I mean, you, I mean, she, her behavior kind of makes sense. I mean, like, it's been three years, like... She must be so fucking traumatized of this shit. In a haze. Like, oh, yeah. Barely. I'm surprised she's like as stable as she is. If I'm being real. There. Three years of this. It's there. Three years of eating the baker's cooking. Ew, right. Yeah. Uh. Marguerite gives you like one like in the DLC, and like you fucking die if you eat that. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're gonna be a fan. What hair products do we protagonists use? Pink Teen Zombie. Oh. Okay. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. And she's out. She's acting crazy. E O O one. Hello, Granny. Oh, hey, grandma. A normal grandma. Nothing grandma! Grandma, just... Yeah. Just a normal old lady. Hello. Wow. That is a really good... <laughs> it's her not, doll. Over. Not gonna lie, I played the game like a couple months ago and that still made me yeah. jump. Gone. Clean. Yeah, like, holy hell. <laughs> so, like, I already know what... I already know the map of this game, but, like, oh, come on. Like, you, you cannot deny that, like, even if you know what's gonna happen, that is scary as shit. It is. 
It's already raining and it's it's night outside. Oh yeah, like this game takes place during the this this game takes place during the course of one night. Yeah, this whole thing is just a single night. Like Leon took 3 days to save Ashley. Which like this whole thing tapping over the span of a single night is fucking insane considering what Ethan does. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I feel like us getting to parts like this reminds me like I was I was talking earlier about how like a big criticism for this game was people saying that it was like too scary, which Guess I didn't mad. get it. Which like I, I didn't quite get it first, but like I remember some people saying that this game is so scary constantly that it almost goes in a circle and doesn't become scary anymore because you get numb to it. I mean, I would disagree with that. That you only uh, become numb to horror as you like. If you get used to the same kinds of scares over and over again. This game, like, keeps it new in every single sequence. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. Like, I, I think this game is consistently scary throughout the entire thing and doesn't really get that. But I do find it interesting how that was such a common criticism that it actually affected Resident Evil Village in terms of its horror. <laughs> I hate that! I hate that so much! <laughs> When I was uh, a kid and I played Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 6 was such a fucking disappointment that I swore off the entire series permanently. Because I thought that it would never get as good as, like, the originals. And then this happened. Oh my god, dude. Can go through there. I I feel so lucky that my entry to the series was this one because, like, I didn't have to go through that, like, depression of, yeah. like, RE6 ruining the series. I just got to start right off with this, like, new version of it. Cole says, I thought that was IRL. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Yeah, the sound design in this game is fucking crazy, dude. So... About the reason Mia was locked up. <laughs> uh. Hello. You get the woman. Fuck out. Hello. <laughs> Kill wife! Resist wife! Resist wife! Ooh! Mm. Clean! Mia, 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 mia! Mia, mia! Lady, honey! 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 Stop that shit! Stop that shit! Oof. I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out! Leave me alone! I'm good back. I deserve this. Ooh. Some Higurashi no Naku Koroni shit. <laughs> yeah, kinda. And let's just, let me pour this over my wound. Ah, I love the goop juice. Goopy goopy. Seals that open <laughs> hand wound perfectly. So maybe, maybe that's an actual reason they locked her up! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, first enemy in the game, boys! Your wife! Oh god! It's like in real life. I want a divorce! <laughs> God, this shit in VR, though. I'm dead, Ethan. I can never leave. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Two idiots fighting. Two gay idiots fighting in an abandoned house. 
Fuck you! Woman. Bye bye. And that's Resident Evil 7. Alright guys, thank you for being part of the stream, thank you for coming. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we did our objective, we did find Mia. We certainly found Mia, yes. Yeah. Who's up? We're calling the phone right now. Yeah, the literally the anti James Sunderland goes for real actually to save his wife. And then yeah. just Yeah, fuck you, wife. Yeah, no, literally, like he is the opposite of James Sunderland in like every single way while still having the same basic objective in the game he's from. What up? You really shouldn't have come here. <laughs> What's this? What the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic. Go there. Now. Yeah. Right wife. Life good. Wife fight back! Kill wife! Think about wife. Regret. <laughs> yes, at the same time. She's gone. Yay! Wife's still alive! Again! No, no more regret! <laughs> Don't worry, we need to go finish uh, shit, the job. Gonna have to kill her again. Mia! Mia! I swear people give Mia too much shit. So loud. Like, aside from okay, I love seeing, on, like, Ethan Shadow because he looks so well. stiff whenever you see him from, like, the third person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, right. So you need wrong. to get the... Oh. Hello, Kako. Hey, Kako. How's it going? I think you need to get the Bring fuse it. for this. Yeah. Where was the fuse? Upstairs. Upstairs? Okay. <laughs> that trauma that Ethan's hands suffer through is insane. Dude. Ethan's, Ethan's hands are my favorite Resident Evil character. They go through so much hardship. I lied. Save again. You need to use the bolt cutters. Oh, yeah, right! The bolt cutters! Yeah. Because there was a chain at the very start. Thank you. Now you're just going through this house while knowing that your wife could just be like around at any corner. Yeah. And oh, yeah, that's the thing. Scared. And she's not a ghost. Ah, oh, the sounds. She's looking for those divorce papers, Ethan. Can't find them in the Baker household. Use your time wisely, Ethan. Views. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Wife jump scare. I forgot about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. And you just have to go there, and she's an actual person. Where did run, she run, go? Run, 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 run. <gasps> Soro Studio, it's Donny, it's the lesson says, The curse of sharing my name with video game characters continues, because I also have mutuals who also call me Zoe. This is messed up. <laughs> uh, your name's Sora Studios. It's fine. You'll be good. You'll be good. Wait, what am I doing? No, wait, no! <laughs> I went up to <laughs> autopilot! Let's go! Oh, let's do it again! Let's no, 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 again. no, 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 no. This, this is stupid. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a guy is called Clancy Javis. Okay, let, let's stop the video. Maybe Thank there was God a there's an option for that. Maybe there was some kind of clue in the video. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just used to fucking doing that. If you play the tape a second time, a big message will go on screen saying your wife is behind. Your wife! It's okay. <laughs> oh, hi wife! Hey wife! Hi! Oh, you're, you're okay now. That's good. You shouldn't have done that. It fucking hurts. Mm. Uh, right in there. You can just die here, by the way. Like, you can actually die in the sequence. Yeah. yeah. Now, 
fucking get out. Fucking hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> you bitch. Yeah. Owie. Oh no, it's too scary, man. You, 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 you. Fuck it, this is awesome. <laughs> Fuck all the haters. Fucking horror is the best. It's Bloody too scary horror. all the time. How am I supposed to be scared when it's scary? Hold on a second. Let, let, let me pick up. Let, let me pick up my hand. <laughs> let me pick up my severed hand and examine it. Yeah, wow, that, was, that, that sure up. was my hand at one point. <laughs> Also, like, am I the only one who thinks, like, the blood splatter effect for, like, the stump is really weird? The, this, the, the UV texture for the blood is kind of, like, stretched around this fucking stump. Well, no, I'm not talking about, like, the UV texture. I'm talking, like, when the hand comes off, like, the little bits of blood that actually spray out from the stump look so weird. All right. All right, Nia. Your hand comes off. Your right, right hand, hand comes, comes off. off? <laughs> I was so upset when that line didn't make it into the remake. That's my favorite line in the original. Yeah. It is an achievement, but it's not the same. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Viagra. I've also for the five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what did it? What did that mannequin do to you, man? I was practicing for my wife. <laughs> Speaking of which, in any other context, that is the worst thing you could say. Okay. Fine. <laughs> it's gonna be a oh messy God. divorce. Messy ass divorce. Messy wacky wahoo divorce. It was so aggressive. <laughs> I know! Like, that mannequin was in pieces! Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Please. this game's me melee is not bad at all, dude. Let's get some resources over here. Yeah. No, no this game is special. There was no resources in those boxes because they didn't have yellow tape on them. Right, 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 <laughs> right. Just in the Resident Evil universe, there's just I some can. guy who sprays yellow paint on everything that's important because he's looking out for you. And he's in yeah. every country. He's every country lead. around the world. They call him the Yellow Master. Get the fuck out! Alright, gonna slowly out. go back down this ladder now. I've changed my mind. <laughs> Hey, wife! Let's go! Oh my god! What was she doing outside? Having fun. Talking to her imaginary friends. Reload. Reload! Why? Hello. What the fuck are you saying? Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! <laughs> you could have just opened the door. What? Eh, it's just dramatic like that. Ah! <gasps> okay. Just get in. And then she's gonna break no. the other wall. No, no, I... Yeah, behind you. <laughs> oh! 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 Yeah. You didn't know? I've never seen that! It's awesome! I've never seen that! They thought about this battle! Dude! What? Oh, she died. Okay. Shoot her. Again. You can? Nah, it's good. Okay, okay good. Yeah, you never seen that? Like, I've they, never they, seen that! They thought about this arena, dude. Yeah. I've always just she fought her in this room. I've never left it. Yep. They put attention to detail. Dude. I'm getting my wife beating arm ready. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> and dead. The best goddamn it. Shut the fuck up. Best goddamn intro. Best goddamn intro. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, the chat. You can do it, Zach. Don't talk about this cutscene. Welcome to the family, son. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Please shut up. <laughs> We're gonna talk about this 
in the sorry. other game. In the other game. Oh! <laughs> I gotta wait till all their game. Yeah, well, I mean, you, most you people are gonna for next month. Minimum. Most people are gonna like be here for that because like people fucking love Resident Evil on this channel. On yeah. You have work to do. Yeah, work to do. <laughs> hey, ha here, have this watch. She just staple is staples it back on. By the way. Yeah. Some gears, some staples, and you're all fine. I it's all good. I love it how Ethan Winters throughout the series is just treated like a Lego man who just has his limbs <laughs> reattached. Best cutscene in Resident Evil history. I love this cutscene. Oh, I can't. Who, who are you? <laughs> he keeps throwing Where's me shit to you. <laughs> Lucas is my favorite character in this game. Can you tell this was made for VR? Not again! What a nice old family. Hit boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. What even is that? He got to have his supper. Oh, oh the sound design! Oh. Uh, look at it. him! Asshole! I know! I love Lucas! God damn it! I'll bet it's that cop again! God damn pigs! I'm coming back for you. Best goddamn cutscene in Resident Evil history. This might be the best villain introduction the series ever had. You just hang out? Uh, yeah. Gamma, you gonna go too? Man. Immaculate dental coverage. Alright, well, welcome to the actual game. All of that oh, before, wow. that was just your introduction. Now, welcome to the survival horror. Oh. Bitch. Alright, so, this game is, don't worry, like, this game is not a linear sequence of scares. You're actually supposed to, like, find resources in the environment, get items. Like, this ain't yo fucking Outlast fucking clone. You're actually supposed to pay attention and survive. Three missing during Urbex trip. State authorities are asking for help locating three men who went missing during their travels to the Dolby Parish from New Orleans on the 9th of this month. The missing men have been identified as Peter Walken, Andre Sticklin, and Clancy Davis. The three produce videos for the internet and travel to- Yeah, you produce videos on the internet and like record them in fucking VHS tapes. Yeah, I was gonna say, they had YouTube videos recorded on an analog medium. The three produced video- actually, maybe just for the style, actually, now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, could be. Uh, their videos consist mostly of the group exploring abandoned buildings and haunted houses. So yeah, they're dead. They dead. And they know they dead. That's a recent newspaper, like, this family has been living here properly. Get that shit. Which is just like- it's so weird that this family has just been living in the house and yet they're considered missing by the rest of the world. Because like, yeah, the the the, the town close to this like uh, estate like doesn't visit this place. And the only people that get near it fucking just go missing. N no one has ever wanted to properly investigate what's going on in this place. Except a few people that we're gonna meet in a minute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember Thank you. Hey, Liam Bullock, thank you for the eight One Australian dollars. One of the best dollars. survival horror games ever. Also, high pastra. Yep. It's I'm like... just preparing for the moments. Like, the f oh, nice. What? Okay. Right. Why are they throwing that in the trash? By the way, I just want to talk about Resident Evil lore for a minute. Uh, 
these green herbs are native only to the Arclay Mountains of Raccoon City, yet they are so fucking powerful that the entire rest of America and the world ended up using them. Like, they were just exported out to, like, the entirety of the globe after they after they were discovered in, like, the Arclay Mountains. Because they're just Maybe. that awesome. They were so widespread that the Baker family started throwing them in the dumpster like waste. Yeah, like, they, yeah. they're so easily, like, cultivated. Oh, fucking yeah. awesome. And that's the reason for why uh, Umbrella... It was based in Raccoon City because that's where they like found the, the the medicinal herbs, and they could actually like harvest them and like use them for research purposes. So the reason for why Raccoon City got fucked up is because of the green herbs, which is also like really cool because that was like their gateway into working with pharmaceuticals before yep. they started like investigating stuff like the T virus. Back up. <laughs> Yeah. Back up. <sighs> Back the fuck up! <laughs> and you can actually hide from him. You don't yeah, need to, but you can. That's one thing I like about Jack Baker. Um, I was actually gonna, I was actually like, once we got to this part, gonna talk about like, RE stalker enemies, because I find them so interesting compared to your typical monsters. Jack feels the most real to me out of any stalker enemies in the entire series because he just feels like you're being pursued by this. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Sorry. Grandma? Where'd Grandma go? Hello? Okay. <laughs> we oh, going. Oh my God. No, I love, I love Jack Baker. He feels oh. so real compared to everyone else. Well, he did a thing. Yeah! Yep, there's a thing. Yep. <laughs> It's the thing! Don't waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Move along now. Get the hatch key. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh hey, a bobble toy. <laughs> oh, that's so nice! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's enjoying it, too. Oh, he's got so much personality. He's one of the best villains in the series. Oh! Ah, I got it! I got it! I got it! Yeah, I was wondering if you are gonna get it. Are we dead? Probably. Oh, God. I got my leg! <laughs> leg. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker! <laughs> uh, I never got this in my. And this is all optional, all these sequences yeah, and interactions. Optional. You can just. Not break the wall. You can not do this. Okay. Just need to like get the get the right item. Okay. Block him. That's a block button, by the way. Yeah. Stuff like that is like the like one of the reasons why I think Jack Baker is like one of the best like uh, enemies in the series. Because like every other stalker enemy we get in Resident Evil, like. They're just dead set on killing you, no matter what, but this guy just feels more like he's fucking with he's you just fucking for the fun with of you. it. Mm, yeah. Alright. There we go. Bye bye bloody screen, I think. Oh no, that that takes a while to clear up. Precious antique coin. Mm. But yeah, no, like Jack has so many of those like little tiny interactions that you can get only in that sequence before you go into the hatch. And they yeah, all feel super, like, diegetic and, like, built into, like, you, you don't need to experience them. They're not scripted. You can just get them. Yeah, like, that's the cool thing is, like, you can play through RE7 any number of times and still see, like, new things that these characters and enemies will do that can scare you. They really stink. Oh. It's like, I remember, 
I had a friend once who tried complaining that RE7 wasn't scary because the bakers had like voice lines and personalities and no, somehow no, no. that like made them less scary and I'm like you Absolutely did, did, not. Did you did you like like how do you enjoy this game? They are they are supposed to be insane. I mean, that's why shit like like, that's why shit like Eddie in, like, Silent Hill 2 is so fucking scary, because you're not fighting a faceless monster, like, you're fighting a human that's just, like, wrong. Small, creepy yeah, like, I don't know, I think, I think it's way more scary. Oh, scary. oh, oh, oh. oh. That's, that's, that's a weapon. Small to store things like that. Oh, bird. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. Uh... Uh, hold on. No, uh, I don't just, know if you just, can. Just, just, just ignore that, just ignore that. Those are the those are the bonus items that you get after you complete the game. Yeah. Anyway. I I think like I think there's like it's definitely different kinds of horror, but I still think I think the idea of some guy trying to kill me just for fun is equally as scary as the giant bioweapon trying to punch me because it was told to. Especially it can even be scarier in the right context and depending on their actual motivations. At least by Yeah, absolutely. Like, Jack isn't the scariest Resident Evil monster to me, but like... Uh, right as you go out. Right as you go out. I love that. Always trying to call you at the most inconvenient time. At the most inconvenient time. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? What the fuck? How the fuck do you know that? listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. You played Resident Evil 7. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Not get, that doesn't get explained ever. Yeah, she tells you that shit and then it never comes back. It's oh, never right. relevant again. What the fuck's a codex? Well, wh <laughs> like, why did you why did you give me this? Eventually you also learned that the codex itself can be used as a communication device. Like you can call people through this little thing. So why the fuck is she calling you through a fucking old phones? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Why are they using VHS tape and cassettes to save the game? It, it's stupid. It's Resident Evil. It's stupid. I love it. You don't have to worry. Anyways, now we get out of here. But how do we get out of here? There's a weird fucking... Weird fucking giant Resident Evil 4 door. <laughs> For some reason. No, but like I actually I actually love like all the stupid puzzles and like trap doors in this game because it actually makes so much sense given like who's You'll get living a note in this house. That will explain why the fuck. And it's like it actually makes sense. Hello? Hey you! Nobody's home. Hey, over here! Policeman? Hey, over here! Policeman! How you doing? Hey, you gotta help Hello. me. Hello! Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? I'm being kidnapped! No. All right, now we got several calls about some missing persons late. You're I am one of them! Get out of here. Now, calm down. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right, let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, are you? Uh, are you kidding me? Uh, this man comes up. Says multiple people are missing. And then when he I'm says missing. I'm one of those, <laughs> I'm missing. I am well, the missing. You you well, you're you're there, so you're not missing. Also, this is e Ethan Winters <laughs> moment four. Hey, wait. You gotta give me your gun. What? Look. <laughs> Do you really think an officer's gonna give you your gun? Right. Deputy. Right. You want to see my name in the obituaries? Or do you want to be a hero and save my life? Yeah. I, I love am. the face expressions <laughs> from this guy. A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. That's all you're gonna get. Now go. Garage. Now. Man, a fucking pocket knife. What, just, what, are, you gonna do with a knife? what are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with a knife? <laughs> a lot, actually. God, it's just so funny to me though, where he's like, "Yeah, it's so just, violent." I've got, I've got some reports of missing persons around here. Ethan covered in blood, his hands stapled back on. That's me. I'm missing person. Look now, at my on. fucking arm. 
Now hold on, you don't- you don't seem like- you don't seem you're all there! It's like, what the fuck do you mean? You just said there's missing people! Also, fuck this. It's a collectible. Now the way Ethan holds that knife. I mean, he's not trained in any weapons usage, you know? I know! He's just, just a guy! So funny. Look at this, like, like he... I'm gonna stab you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so flimsy. Yeah. Get away from me, Jack! Yeah. <laughs> I am not- I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all the bubble heads, but I'm gonna get the ones that I do remember. Alright, uh... Guess we're going into first- first goddamn boss fight. One of the best! The third one by now? I but, mean, uh, I guess, but like, this is like a real one. Like a non-scripted yeah. real one. So there's a method to like completely skip it that we're gonna do, but like... The skip is awesome. It's so cool. I know that this is very scripted compared to the other, like, Resident Evil games, especially, like, Resident Evil 2 Remake, but, like... Just, like... Ugh, everything I've ordered. If the scripted stuff is cool, I don't care. Yes. God, look at this environment. Yo, man, what up? Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Ethan, say that. Question. You're not gonna believe me if I <laughs> No. Trying. Stalling? Hey, put that door back! Put that door back! Put Wait! That door back. Ooh. So fucking brutal. <laughs> yep. He's screaming, man! <laughs> you didn't even take the gun! This a gun? Oh yeah, right! Don't need it. Box. Take it. Hello there. Get in there. Get in go, there. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. No. No. Oh, oh shit. No. You didn't get the. Oh, no. Actually, we can just do that both ways, actually. It's fun both ways. Better start running. <laughs> he didn't say the line! I know, he's, got, he's doing donuts, he's doing donuts, don't worry. We're gonna do this, okay, yo, we, we got time, we're gonna do this both ways, both ways are awesome. Green knives can literally shower boxes and a pocket knife is a blessing. God, I love Resident Evil! <laughs> I fucking love Resident Evil! <laughs> Stop it! He's doing Stop fucking it. donuts in the garage! You! <laughs> <laughs> He's oh. I'm fucking killing oh. it, dude! <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> yo, yo, are you good? Baker, are you good? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, this is, this is like <laughs> one of my favorite parts of the whole game. The curse lives again. Let him. Uh, let him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <but>. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> okay, finally. You good? Oh, this boss fight is so good. <laughs> Fuck you. Ooh. God. Oh, He's it. dead! He's dead now. <laughs> He's on fire! He's dead. Oh, Jack, look no. out! The car's on oh. fire! What? What? Oh. You didn't even let him finish. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Okay. He's now totally he's dead. dead. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> 
Okay, good. God, like, imagine trying to, like, sell someone on this being one of the scariest Resident Evil games by describing this boss fight alone. Fighting some <laughs> old guy in a garage. Well, he's doing old... donuts in a car. Like, yeah. someone would hear that description and they'd be like, are you insane? All right, so... We gotta do that again. Mm -hmm. We gotta do that again. I need okay. to hear my favorite and. line in the game. And. Uh, we need to do that again. I want, like, I didn't plan for that, but it, it, actually it was a nice way to, like, show off the, like, Jack Baker car boss fight. Yeah. <laughs> It's so cool how even, like, the boss fight has multiple, like, instances that can happen based entirely on how you go about fighting it. And you can just miss the other one. Wait, uh, shit, uh, that I... I think no, I loaded the no, wrong no, side. No, 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 no. I didn't have the knife. Oh, you didn't? Okay. This one. Welcome to the family, son! There we go. Okay, good. The one problem it's, that I have with this game is that you yeah. cannot skip the cutscenes. Hey, I yeah, know, boss know, fights like this become such a drag on harder difficulties. Fucking or when you just want to replay the game. Or speed run it. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Resident Evil is like a like a like a bed house for like speed runners, so. This game will be so much better if you do skip anything at all you know what's all right well you know what's so gun? weird about that too that you can't like that uh like trying to speed run with the cutscenes mm -hmm. in re7 and 8 the cutscenes are taken into your play time at the end yeah yep. so like in re7 or in re8 specifically you have to oh. skip the cutscenes as fast as possible <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking good the way he just like <laughs> Now it's my turn, motherfucker! <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> you good? Oh my god. You good, bitch? Jack, you okay? Yeah, you alive? Yeah. Jack! I'm gonna run him over oh, again. Oh. What? He's not gonna go. Oh? Huh? What? Oh, shit! <laughs> nice score? Oh. Nah, score, Ethan! My favorite line in the game! Where did you learn to drive? Oh, Ethan! Where did you learn to drive? Let's finish this, you and I! Also, the Capcom line. Oh, yeah! I'm gonna take you for a ride! Oh, what? Oh, I'm gonna ride. take you for a ride! Ooh! I'm gonna take you for a ride! Da -na -na. That's like my favorite fucking theme. Dead. Oh, you gotta move this fucking face for a second. Why did he ram himself into those steel beams? Is he stupid? <laughs> In Resident Evil 7, when Jack Baker tried to crash the car, why did he kill himself? Is he stupid? <laughs> now nah, he's just really durable. Now look what you've done, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, there we go. Oh, I thought oh. it was there for a second. You can also just miss that. <laughs> Fucking cool. Fucking super cool. Yep, so those are the two ways that you can fight Jack in the garage. The fact that there's those are like two completely different fights. I, and like they're both equally fun. Yeah, like it's either he becomes like the crazy car guy or like you get to run him over. Either way, awesome. Can I just say too, like, one of my favorite things about like Jack Baker as a character and why I find like him so endearing as a villain in this game is the fact that like 
When you think about it in Resident Evil lore, it is so insanely funny how the Umbrella Corporation for years try creating this ultimate durable bioweapon. They make the G-Virus, mm -hmm. they make Mr. X, they make the Nemesis, and all of them in some way fail. And some random old dude in Louisiana is just as, if not just more durable strong than those bioweapons. And he's having fun with it. Speaking of which... Yeah, he loves it. Alive? About to see some wonderful... oh. <laughs> well, I guess not. I guess not. Like, now he's having he's fun dead. with it. He loves every well, minute of he it. He was having fun because he's dead now, you know? Yep. Death number two. Why did you shoot yourself? Jack Baker you reminds me of the angry <laughs> grandpa. Why did he shoot himself? Is he stupid? Also, this shit is so classic Resident Evil. Like, Absolutely. The, examining the objects and like rotating them and finding like the the weird little thing that they have on the side. Like, and then opening them up and like, oh, it's so fucking cool. Back in there. Yep, so that, that was the first area of the game. Now it just keeps opening it up. Like, this was such a small area and it took us like 30 minutes to go through. Like, now it just keeps going. It just keeps going. More expansions, more more areas, more items, more puzzles, more enemies. Like, it just keeps going. This gun's fucking awesome. <laughs> and like, the thing is with this initial area too is like... It, it like it embodies all like that classic Resident Evil charm where you're like in this giant like location that slowly becomes more accessible to you. But like, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is like one of the smaller areas in the game by comparison, right? Yep, this is the yep. most compact one. Welcome. Like it's the best one to the Baker Estate. Also. I don't know my my favorite my favorite is Lucas's area, but I love this one a lot. I. I fucking hate Margaret section. Shoot me, shoot oh. me. Dude, the old house is terrifying. That was the most scared I was playing this game. Yeah, but as I long as you like... have the... As long as you have the fire, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I really hate the, the, the box. Stop daughter. saying daddy. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, for the love of he's God. A, he's dead now. Is that no. You yeah. just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. No, we, you need to do some rest and evil oh, shit. Much. So there's gonna be some puzzles. You see that big fucking door? Yeah, you see like the three the missing big, heads? The big fucking door. With the I missing love this. shit. Okay, so. Once again, I am going to do my spiel once again, because, like, this is where it starts. Welcome, everybody, to Survival Horror. For those that weren't here for the Resident Evil 2 or, like, Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil... Like, anything, Resident Evil 1 streams. Survival Horror is based off of you going into a very, very, very intricately designed location, gathering items, fighting enemies, conserving your resources as you go and solving puzzles. Resident Evil is one. Uh, Resident Evil is like one of the series that use survival horror, but there's a bunch, especially in the indie game scene, that have this kind of genre, and it is very specific. If you want to know what survival horror is, it's basically imagine you're inside of a giant puzzle box that you have to slowly unravel together. These items, these bullets, these things are all precious resources that you use to survive as you're unraveling this location. The reason for why. Revelations doesn't work for me, in my opinion. It's because it's all very linear. Every single room connects to the other one in a linear sequence. But survival horror proper does not. You can go anywhere around here and you get the key items to proceed in the different locations of this house. That's what I love about it, you know? And usually survival horror has a big fucking door. So, to separate the sections of a survival horror game, you usually have the big area that you have to open up slowly as you go through, and your main objective is identified by a big fucking door. So, this big fucking door needs three dog heads to be able to open, and once we open up this, 
we will go to the outside and we will go into a new area that has another big fucking door that we need to open. And that's how survival horror games usually go. And it's fucking so funny nerd. how, like, based on that description, you'd always expect it to get repetitive, but it no! never does. It Not never, never does. Because it's always unique depending on the location. Like, Signalis does it masterfully, in my opinion. Sack, I, I, so I am going to fucking force you to play it. I, you need I, to. I really want to play it on stream at some point. There's a lot of survival horror games that I want to play soon, but I'm saving them for streams because I love survival horror so much, I figured it would make good content. And not only that, but like you get to record your first experiences with it. That too, there's something very special about people seeing like my first time reaction to stuff. Like that's why I started streaming because I <laughs> wanted to record my own experiences. Yeah, that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's why I wanted to start streaming, because I wanted to record my own experiences with this kinds of stuffs. And obviously, like, this is not my first experience with Resident Evil 7, but it's still awesome just to have fun and be with, like, around with friends and just, like, talk about your... the things that just you, you just fucking love. I already got the first, uh, big fucking door key. We're gonna go into the other Let's ones. Let's go. God, this room, too. This room with the shotgun. For those that do not know, if you go try to pick up the shotgun over here, you. Oh. Yeah, right. Okay. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, you have a limited inventory system. Uh, I will be back. If you try to open that without a certain item, you can't. You need. It's a trap, uh, similar to Resident Evil 1. I was gonna say. If you try to grab that shotgun, this door will close in on you, so you need to find a similar item of similar weight to get that shotgun. You can't just get it right away. This isn't fucking Doom Eternal. Shout out to like the original Resident Evil just having some rooms where it's like, oh, I'll take this thing. Oh, I'm dead now. Dead. <laughs> oh, I hate. Well, I hate that in a good way. <laughs> Motherfucker. You got me. It's really funny. Over 20 missing in the last two years. Captain Howell from State Police told reporters that they have started a search for Helen Midkiff, a college student from North Carolina who was traveling in Louisiana. Miss Midkiff hasn't been heard of since the night of the 21st. Reports of missing persons in South Louisiana have increased dramatically in the past two years. The majority of those missing are tourists and vagrants. At least 20 people are thought to have gone missing so far. Police suspect foul play and believe that there may be a connection between the incidents. Plans are in place to set up local in interrogations and increase personnel to further the investigations. Alyssa Ashcroft, January 2019, 2016. So, if you don't know, Alyssa Ashcroft is one of the survivors in Resident Evil Outbreak that you play as as you try to escape Raccoon City. That is a direct reference to the Resident Evil Outbreak games that take place during the Raccoon City incident. She survived and went on to continue being a reporter. Fucking awesome. Which, which like, yeah, that's one of your, that's you one of your, like, first, that's like, that's like one of your first proper signs in this game that this game is not as disconnected as, like, you think it is when you first play it from the rest of the world. You wouldn't know if you, like, it, she's not important to this game story, but, like, if you know, it's awesome. Who did that? Kyle. Evelyn. Evelyn. May, May 2nd. Cat. Boy. Oh, yeah, by the way, these, these other doors, Snake, Scorpion door, they just have, like, scorpions bolted, like, snakes and scorpions bolted into the doors. Like, this, this property... Actual real ones. This property is not... Yeah. Hello there. Hi, Gamma. It doesn't let you point the gun at her. Doesn't let you point yeah. the gun at her. But yeah, this property is not magnificent like the Spencer Mansion. These people have been living here, and they're just fucking weird. Yeah, I think I think Everybody that's like one thing that really quiet. That's one thing that like really separated this game immediately, like whenever you play the other Resident Evil games, is like even whenever like the games aren't set in some like big gothic mansion. Also, hi. 
She Another scares me the Marge. most out of the whole family. Another Marge. She scares me so bad. Now, but like, all the other Resident Evil games, like, even when you're not in some big gothic mansion, there's usually some kind of, like, sophistication to the, uh, location you're in. Like, you've got these big, like, you've got, like, these big, like, immaculately designed doors with these, like, super, like, um, fancy keys. But in this game, it's just like, oh, yeah, things are, like, bolted to the doors crudely. You've got these, like, nasty, rusted keys. Everything just is covered in a layer of grime. Yeah, everything's mm -hmm. disgusting. Marguerite, move that piece of shit hippie we caught from the hall to the processing area. Processing area? Ah, oh, that's weird. So what did that mean? Later. Oh, another thing that this game has over every single other Resident Evil game, you can actually find a ton of extra items and resources if you just, like, look in, like, nooks and crannies of, like, this location. Like, this location is massive. And people just miss the objects because they're, like, stuck, like, underneath chairs and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, like, you can find they... a lot of coins under anything. Like, I don't think I've gotten, like, half of the items available to me. I don't think I've gotten half of the item items available to me in any playthrough. Now, they really wanted you in this game to, like... Got them pick apart the entirety of every location. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Mia. Dude, just, it, Mia. Dude, I remember on my first time playing through this game, I looked everywhere for that for that dog head, and, like, I didn't ever process the idea that it would just be in some, like, book in the corner of a room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, like, so I ran dumb. around, and I literally, like... My friend was like, yeah, just pick up every item you see. I'm like, that's stupid. Why would it be in there? As I open up the book and there's the head. God damn. <laughs> Mia Winters. Ethan, the please watch this. The earlier next to the grandfather clock alludes to Clivar. O'Brien, a character in Resident Evil Revelations 1. If you find that. Wild card donates five dollars and says the book you found earlier next to the grandfather clock alludes to Clive R. O'Brien, a character in Resident Evil Revelations 1. Ooh, I didn't know that. That wasn't me. I don't, I don't know what happened. This, this she's recording this after the, after her meeting with you. Let's fucking go. You can actually die in this sequence, by the way. What happens to the camera? Sure, Sh shut up. She was carrying it and then I see both of her hands in the frame. So did she like attach it to her face? Shit. Shut up. Yeah. Like also, <laughs> by the way, where is this? Yeah. Oh child. Yeah, oh no, oh yeah. Like where is this when you originally watched it? I forgot that. Yeah, you're in a completely new set girl? piece. But yeah, where are you? I need to hide. Deserve this, except open my home and feed you. I hate her so much. She scares me so much. The shadow. I don't understand you at all. This Mia's got that VHS GoPro. <laughs> she got them camera eyes. Thank you, Snoodle, for the one gift of membership. <laughs> Thank you. What did oh, that? The, what did that? These are, the, these are the stupidest puzzles in the entire series. They're cool, though. Oh yeah, they're cool. Oh, I love yeah. doing them, but like from a realism standpoint, like, they're, what they're a the fuck. hardest to believe. <laughs> By the way, this VHS tape is completely optional. Yeah, that's the thing. I know you were scared. Think I don't know what you want to do with that boy, Ethan? Oh. You can hear her heart heartbeat. 
I want to give some insightful commentary, but this shit just makes me tense. Who got my uh, membership? I want to know. Oh, uh, O three seventeen six got the membership. Hello? We going, we going, we going. Oh, God. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Okay, 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 I just... Why is this your maximum speed? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh shit. We open our home. We open our hearts. And what do you do? Fucking pray she doesn't come back here. Uh Liam donates and says, You ever what you guys ever watch the VHS movie? Oh, I love those movies. Those are some of my favorite horror films ever. I have not. Oh, uh, dude, you you I, I think you'd really enjoy them. They have a really good like premise behind them that allows them to make a bunch of sequels and not get like old. I forgot what I should do right now. Should I go to the right? I forget if you have to do the shadow puzzle or not. I feel like I think you get the prompt to be able to do it after a bit. Yep. Yeah, okay, there you go. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> I love these puzzles though. Now like the VHS movies are pretty cool though. They're like um it's an anthology horror series where you're watching like a collection of four tapes and every tape is made by a different horror director. How did I rotate this again? You gotta flip it. Yeah, just like you yeah, just move them. Yeah. Oh, no, oh. yeah, I, I can't. I need to rotate it. Yeah, I could do it with the controller. Oh, it's so weird on keyboard, yeah. Yeah, uh... How did I rotate this on... Keyboard? Uh... You should just be able to flip it vertically and it should... Fit. No, it's the other way around. Shit. Yeah. Oh, 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 uh, Just oh. press... Press F. Yeah! Oh, there you go. Okay. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Wildcard donates two dollars and says, "Resident Evil Seven: Westboro Bar P Baptist Church Simulator." <laughs> we need to fucking go. Uh, Retro donates ten dollars and says, "You know the funny part about this game setting is that." If you go to an abandoned farmhouse in Louisiana, there's a real chance you'll find this exact scenario, minus the bioweapons. <laughs> if you think about it, this game is literally the plot of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but like, if but the family was superhuman. Bioweapons, yes. This is where the girl was. What girl? What girl? Yeah, there's whatever. No, there's no little girl. She wants us to be a family, goddammit. <laughs> How did you about. get here? You! All you have to do is accept her fucking gift! Jesus. That's what it is about Marguerite that freaks me out so much, is like... Jack's like consistently crazy, but like Marguerite like switches on a dime. Yep. Yeah. She can and be I really sweet and nice. But then I she can just start you. screaming. Why can't you see that? And the voice actress for her does such a good it's job too at making her the most like uncomfortable voice to listen to. It fucking explodes over the slightest negative reaction. I know, like, she scares you know, me so bad. The about this game's setting is that if you go to an abandoned farmhouse in Louisiana, there's let's a go, real chance go, go. you will find this exact scenario minus the bioweapons. Um, fucking hurry up. Oh. Who does? Child. Is that Mia? Eh. Mia and child. 
Oh, oh man, this. Open your oh. eyes. Where do you think you're going? Op you open your VHS eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye. How does the the old woman move so fast backwards while by carrying a weapon. body? She scurries like a rat when you can't see her. She did teleport all around that house. There's little holes in the wall that she traverses but like, through. This is useless. It's just cool. Yeah, you can just look at it for fun. Yep. Alright, well. God, this game's atmosphere is so fucking good. Alright. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know. Um, I could just go play as the, the dog head. Yeah, just do that. But nope. maybe you, you, yeah. Maybe you want to go to that door. Nope, not yet. One. Like, do it though. Do you want no me to? Bolts, it's gonna be it's no gonna be harder. Though. All right. You you <laughs> want me to? Do it. Oh, you fuck it's okay. Small fucker. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it that hard just... to take a shower? I'm a fucker. Come on. Where's your sense of adventure? Been rummaging around and we're gonna, add, yeah, look, we're we're gonna add some minutes this to the stream. All right. This was so worth it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, right. Totally. You got an antique fucking, coin and everything. By the way, Resident Evil One. Resident Evil One sequence. Fucking let's. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Can't get yep. that! Can't get that, oh well. Maybe you, you can craft something? Oh, but... <laughs> okay, well... Nice. Awesome. Pulled it out of the tar bath. Anyway, so that was useful. Thank you, Nick. Never yeah. mind! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me, I guess. Dying, man. This sure shit beats the hell out of dying. Oh, he died! Fucking out of here! To be dead. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, what I the hate fuck? this game. That's a plot hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's fast. I always forget how fast he is. By the way, you think that he's gonna like uh, Mr. X like stop coming at you? Nope. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that you're in a different area. Uh, hold on, Jack. Let me just like. Oh, right. I can't do that. You can't do puzzles while the maniacs are after you. <laughs> what the fuck? What you can't do also, puzzles. I think, also, I think this is the area. Um, David wanted me to tell you that in this specific part of the game, there's actually a speed run you can uh, skip. You can do with Jack. What? He just vanished. Wait, wait, where'd he go? What? Huh? Where'd he go? He just vanished. Oh. <laughs> He's magic too. <laughs> what? That's God. Not supposed to happen. Reduced. Okay, let's go. What? Okay, just do it. But David, David wanted me to tell you that there's a speed run skip you can do in this part of the game when Jack becomes uh -huh, active. So. Where I've if Jack grabs you at a certain, like, wall and one of the stairways, others. when he throws you, Ethan just phases through the wall. Shit. Just been buzzing around you. Just for Seth. Oh, wow, it's re it, it really... Yeah. I didn't know how, how forgiving that was. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's... Really, really generous. Who's this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's right. <laughs> okay, nice. two out of three for the big fucking door. Y'all know where the third one is. Oh, I can't wait. Thank you, Tony, <laughs> for the five dollars. I'm trying to draw a plush Clyde, but every time I do it, looks like Clyde has diabetes. The plushies no, are enjoying the stream, by, by the way. No, Clyde plushie with diabetes. Diabetes plushie. This is what happens when you eat too many <laughs> Halloween candies, boy. He ate too much candy corn. Too many candy how corn, boy. How do you draw someone with diabetes? Diabetes. Uh, there was like a know. thing here. Like, how would you draw five with diabetes? Diabetes. <laughs> okay, so... Does it do the thing if you don't have the thing? It doesn't. For those that do not know, this is a secret, like, item storage thing, but you can't get it 
until Ethan has seen the secret, like, compartment in a photo, which is really fucking cool. Fi has every illness. <laughs> Use yeah, psychostimulants right. to find items. I never end up using these. Yeah, they're kind of meh. I'm, re I'm really, re really, really getting use of that inventory. <laughs> Bitch. Ooh. Oh, I still have the the tape. I'm trying to draw plush Clyde, but every time I Wait, do, it yeah. looks like Clyde has diabetes. <laughs> The plushies are enjoying the stream, BTW. I haven't really gone to any safe room besides the first one. Nope, but there's one right here, so, so it's fine. It takes place in USA, but it has a Japanese long uh, <laughs> house. <laughs> it's too low res. That low. Hold on. I, I can't read. James oh, Reiner go. donates $5 and says, This game is so <laughs> cute. It takes place in the USA, but it has a Japanese laundry room in the house. A few instances of that. Yeah, you can tell, like... Oh, this yeah. shit is, like, this is supposed to be America, but this was made by Japanese people. Uh, June 14, vacation, husband and wife. The husband was a success. He is the 12th. Unfortunately, the wife was no good, so we'll just have to get rid of her. July 7, the college girls that were mentioned in the paper. They're all rotten. Look, it's, it's a damn idiot. August 13th, homeless man, just like the vagrants that were mentioned in the newspaper. Turned in three days. He's the 13th. I wonder what they're doing with these people. What does turned mean? Well, I'll have to see. Probably means nothing. Ew. Ew. Oh. That, is such, like, that is such like an ungodly amount of bugs. Like that is a like, cartoonish amount of bugs. Yeah. Marguerite loves it. All in one place. She loves it. Speaking of bugs. There are none of them. What the? Whoa. Maybe! God, I love the molded. Yeah. Damn, that one died quick. Yeah. Uh, headshots are. Charge headshots are the best for them. Also, we're in normal mode, so, you know. Oh, yeah. I guess, yeah. I'm too used to. Madhouse difficulty. More hard than usual. Well, uh, there's some molded in the in the next sequence coming up that are significantly harder. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Right. in Madhouse mode, there's an enemy here, and he's completely fuck fucking you bullshit. Think me? Oh. Okay. God. Now that um, now that we arrive at the point in the game where the molded are actually spawning, can I give like one of my like only like big problems I have with this game? I think I know what you're gonna say. Go on. Oh, I think the molded are cool monsters, but it kind of annoys me that they're the only monsters yeah, we fight. Yeah. There's variations of them. There's variations there of is, them. There is, but like, I don't know. I but just feel like- Aside from the bakers, they are the only thing that poses a threat to you in this game. And I, I'm not too big a fan of that because one of my favorite things about the Resident Evil games is having a massive, like diverse pool of monsters that have all these unique designs and mechanics. And the molded, while being cool, just, I don't know, it feels like there isn't enough, like, different enemies for me. Resident Evil 8 actually corrected this issue, so that's very nice. Uh, and that's why I love it so much. Dear Courtney, those bastards are looking for me, but maybe this gives you a chance as a or to escape. To escape, you have to find the reliefs shaped like dog heads. I saw one of the heads in the dissection room underground. Get it, it's the key out of here. Also, this music. I love the saver music in this game. It's much less grand than the it originals has. compared to like Resident Evil 3, for example. But like, this is like it's quiet, looming. Yeah. That's such a mood, an identity. Also, also I'm, seeing, I'm seeing some people in the chat bringing up the bugs in the old house as well. But like, I don't know, bugs aren't that interesting to me. Like, yeah, it's just bugs. It's yeah. just swarms of bugs. It's not really That's interesting it. at all. Like, I love the bakers, but, like, I think this game sorely lacks in, like, its actual monsters. Mm. Survival horror inventory management, as you do. Like, I, 
this is one of the reasons why I said, like, I feel like this game above any other Resident Evil embodies, like, survival horror so much. Look how tiny that inventory is. Yep. You can expand it you later. Even get that much you can, but even then, by comparison to other games, it's still small. By the way, I'm putting my shotgun shells in the storage because there's no fucking reason to carry them because you can't get the... Oh, I'm gonna also put in the antique coins. Because you can't really use them. What about them the citrus stimulants? Oh, yeah, fuck that. And. The gunpowder. Fuck that. Yep, we're just gonna keep that. Thank you, Nick. Can I move these? I forgot how to move them. I like that. Not as cool as the Resident Evil 4 inventory, but still classic. I love the Resident Evil 4 inventory. Let's go. First, like, proper enemy-filled area of the, of the mansion. I mean, the, the, the estate. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Like, when you replay Resident Evil 7 again and you're experiencing it, you, 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 you don't really remember just how slowly, like, classic elements of Resident Evil games are introduced. Like... You don't get a gun until, you know, you fight Mia. You don't have to deal with regular enemies until, like, you're Here. halfway through the first Look major all. area. <laughs> Speaking of which, hi! Oh They're my very God. fast. I'm stooped. <laughs> Fuck! I, okay, like, oh I, my I God! Um, say that, like, hell? Okay. Oh, that is... Oh. Watching you shoot that thing is only hurting me a little bit. Nice. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a lot of bullets. I got like most of the ammunition for this. <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs> Hello. Hey. Oh, actually, got me. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh I my god! Say, stop. Like, even though it bothers me that there's not too many monsters, the molded are scary as hell. Thank you. <laughs> you know, like, actually, they don't breathe or anything. They just stay still and like wait for you. One, really glad nice. to see you yeah, back. Fun, smile fun, too. Fun, remember that actually, um, Any of you check out the things. game Brutal Orchestra? Yeah. Not horror. Right. Yeah. That has gore and sad um, dot horror. Fun fact, actually, uh, Clyde's design was partially inspired by the molded in this game. I can see it. His weird sort of like black, like uh, his weird sort of like black, like claws and the fact that he's just like tar underneath the costume was inspired by these monsters. Thank you, Dr. Goomba. Uh, yeah, Goomba for the five euro. Uh, number one, glad to see you back. Uh, number two, please check out the game Brutal Orchestra. Not horror, but has gore and psychological horror. So good. Thank you. Uh, Lucas, I caught the guy who keeps trying to escape. I've locked him up in the leftmost incinerator so he can't get away. Take him out when he's ready. You know how to remember the door, don't you? Just remember, three A's and a handprint. Do what you want with this girl. Video. Yeah. So, Travis, Lara, Craig, William, Sean, and Tamara. I love that. So, <laughs> Tamara, can get that open. Three A's and and the handprint. So look for the one with the. Hand. There we go. Oh wow! I wonder what's up here. <laughs> oh hi! <laughs> and he's a different kind of molded, by the way. He's this a one boy. is a spiky brute brute molded. Yeah, he's a cro crosser one. Ooh. He's got like a blade arm. Yeah. And he's way tougher. Mother. God, the way they move. Oopa. They remind me a lot of the regenerators. Yeah. Actually. But of course. Yeah, absolutely. But like. Like, the I way that they, they a break first... apart when you shoot them as well. The way they break apart, the way they are built, the fact that they have stretchy limbs. 
sorry. Thank you, Andreas, for the fart donation. How did the Super Chad notify sounds work? Uh, Andreas, depending on the amount that you donate, you get different sounds in the in the in the notification. So, like every like five to ten dollar amount, you have like different notification sounds. That was a perfect sound, like just when I picked up the item too. Thank you. Not from the other side. Wait, wait. Somebody, somebody in chat asks, do you think they reuse the molded for RE4 to make regenerate? No. 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 In, no in, not in any way. No. I mean, maybe the way that they twitch, but that's about it. It's oh, fragile. Man. Maybe you can break with something. I think that's coming. I don't need the maps. Like, I'm collecting the maps, but I really don't need them. I have not seen you pull out your map once. I have yeah, pulled them the out, but time. just to check them out once. There we go. Yeah, uh, go there. Wait a little. Explore, you know. Scorpion key. Lockpick. You know. Treasure! Just be careful. I will be careful. I hit something nice here. Try to find it if you can. So if you're like a bitch, you can just go back and get more resources. But I ain't a bitch. You're a coward. Ain't a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. The fact that it takes time to turn around as well, by the way. And the yeah, enemies, like, just run at you. Rescue. Nope. Nope. I mean, there we go. Oh, it's X for, for me. Oh, 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 okay. I mean, you can turn around, but it still takes a long time to just, like, get back and, like, Die! get into position. Oh, Sheldos, thank you for the 50 euro. Last real donation. Enjoy the spooky gun game. Thank nice. you. Thank you. Last real dono. Enjoy the spooky gun game. I really need to take care of my inventory. But I also just want to move forward. Oh, crap. The... Well. Yeah. There we go. Oh, nice. Need more ammo instead, but... oh. Uh... oh my god, yeah, I I have only 16 shots. Right, survival horror. Right. Gotta take care of that. I have a lot of healing items, not enough ammunition. And I don't have the gun for that. I find that, like, when you play something like the other Resident Evil games that spoil you on ammo, you're never ready for when you play something like this one, where it's like, oh, I only have, like, six shots left, and there's, like, four enemies in this area. Sixteen shots, and I wasted a lot of them. Yeah. I feel like you get spoiled the moment you play Villager 4. Yep. And this... Actually, this part has a lot. I may actually yeah. go back and get some ammunition, because, like, that's a lot. There's, like, three, yeah, maybe four use more. A Fuck I wasn't kidding, but oh, hi! <laughs> nice. Maybe you can use the, the Psycho Stimulant. I, I, I was looking at his body just to, like, see if I could pick up ammo like a fucking idiot. Because <laughs> I'm so you used to Resident Evil 4. All right, let's let us let us let us organize this. All right, so get some chem fluid, get some ammunition. The section room key, I need that. Treasure photo, I don't need that. Lock pick, we're gonna use in the back. Scorpion key, do we need a scorpion key for the basement? I don't think so. I. I think the Gender scorpion remember. keys only used when you go back to the main sort of hub area. We're gonna put it there just in... Yeah, I, yeah, I think I think we just need the dissection room key. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. And we're gonna go back just a little bit to get the... Oh, hold on, let me unlock that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... I should, yeah. Because that's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure the scorpion key's only really needed for, like, the hub area in the upstairs room. Yep. Yep. Yeah, now, now I remember, yeah. God, fuck, this game's so fucking much. Look at that! <laughs> this is not a super, super advanced, mega, like, uh, rich people house. This is just some 
some fucking family's house. All these puzzles are like crudely thrown together, like completely different vibe. But it does feel like a return to form as well. <laughs> it's so weird. Like it's able to blend together both like a completely unique experience while still feeling like the same game. Because again, like this There's... is also the first one that was first person too, and that was super off-putting. There are so many references to the original Resident Evil as well, like the the the, the bathtub. The, yeah, and like the, the shotgun. The shotgun and like all these little moments from the original that like come back here, but like they're all put into different contexts. It's just like, oh, so this good. entire this entire place does feel just like a more grimy and more like um, fucked up, and like, you know, like uh, Spencer estate. Yes, thank you. That's what I was she trying shut to say. Up quick when I got to her boss fight. Well, there we go. Just get some. Ammo over here. I I I still remember the, the 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 static pickups. God, the way they move. Uh, I think there's like three more after this. There's one specific one that I want to take care of really quickly. Yep. Um. Uh, or I think. Right. Okay, yeah, I did hear that correctly. Good. Fucking clean. <laughs> They're so gross. They're so clean. gross. Clean. Okay, there's like two more here. Yeah, one right there. And one at the end. Okay. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Okay, you, you should have enough. I don't think I even need to kill the one in here because yeah, I can just don't. run around. I need to conserve that ammo! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, there's two. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. There's three. There were four. Okay. I wasn't sure. I kind of fucked up there. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I only have 12 shots, by the way. Eh. You also have an eye. And a lot of healing. Yeah, just give them the run around and just get the fuck out of here. Those are totally not worth it, by the way. You know. They're gonna just uh, drain your resources. Get the fuck in there! <laughs> I think that's another thing. That's another thing about Resident Evil 7 that it does differently that I really like is that in a lot of other Resident Evil games, when you go to open up like a locked door, there's usually a cutscene yeah. where nothing can hurt you. In this game, though, you have to wait for it to unlock and, and the there's game something keeps right going. behind you. <laughs> like, ah. Oh, oh, look, one... a red dog head. Nice. Oh, I'm going to get out. I was going to be your father. Yeah, once you know the context, all these things just make sense. It's so much cooler once you know. You, my friend, will help me. That's the cop, by the way. On the top right. That's the cop that died. Hanging there all Texas Chainsaw style. Got 12 shots still. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna do that. Oh shit! Shit! I don't have gunpowder. Oh boy! Oh, there's some shotgun what? shells there for you. What? I th what? I thought this was the moment. It, huh? No. 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 Oh. Oh shit. I was I, I, I could see you all dramatically Nick? walking down the hallway thinking you Nick? were like building up to it. Uh, all right. Uh, Nick's muted. Okay, well. I that was weird. I thought that something was going to happen there. Oh well. I guess I misremember. Teehee. Not a real fan. Not a real fan. Fake fan, fake fan, fake fan. God, oh, look God. at his flesh by the way. It's I moving. Know. 
It's like mutating in real time. It's so weird. That's so weird. I thought that that's when the thing happened. Oh well. Not oh, yet. Nice. Not yet. Oh come on. Not yet. Come on. You can you can leave after that. You just get the head and everything's okay. There we go. Oh, I love I love how many times you just find bags of undescribable meat in this house. Meat. How many people, you know? That's okay, that's how that's the thing I always many people. That's the thing I always wonder about with this game. Because okay, the Baker family goes missing. And like afterwards, so many people go missing who happen to go to the same area as their house. Mm-hmm. Like, why weren't people on top of this sooner? They're worried about fucking Terragrigia. Oh, you can do that, by the way. I, I suppose you're right. Yeah, my bad. Just recently beat this game on Madhouse, but it was worth it and fun helping yeah, yeah, it's enjoy practicing. with the lights. Da, da, na, 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 da, na, na. Next time I see that jackass, I'm gonna kick him right in his stupid face. I don't know what kind right. of kink the Vegas uh, have, hold on a but second. I'm shaming it. Just waiting for the donations. Uh, thank you, wild card for the five dollars. I don't know what kind of kink the bakers have, but I'm shaming it. Yeah, that, this, this is a full-on shame. All right, let's oh, go. That was easy. Hello, boy. Ooh. You have to actually fight him fight. now. This boss fight's so cool. There's a there's a really go, a cool fun fact about this boss fight too that I want to talk about whenever you eventually get to the part in it. <laughs> oh, oh my god, hi. Ah! Oh my god! I was like, where did he go? Hello. Stop going behind me! I was gonna say, he's like always on your ass. Like, why is he so close? Yeah. <laughs> oh. God, it's so weird. We only have three shots, by the way. And you missed one of them. We are out of shots. The fuck are we gonna do? Oh, this is what we're gonna do. That is not groovy. Okay, this is the part of boss, the boss fight I think is really cool. That's the same chainsaw Mia cut your arm off with. You can still see your dried blood on it. I did not know that. Yeah, look at the end. You can see Ethan's dried blood on the end of the chainsaw. Yeah, that's Hello, super I'm cool, back. actually. We're, we're in there. We're in there. We're in there, Nick. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed. Oh, fucking cool. Ooh. Oh, he's alive again, by the way. He totally lived. <laughs> because he doesn't give a shit. Oh. Oh. This is this boss fight's another example of like Resident Evil stupidity, and I love it so much. Like, what is he even wielding? Like a scissor. Scissor chainsaw. Thing? Like, it's awesome, but it's so cool. Oh. I need to get this some healing. just insta-kill you with that. I need to get some healing. That I blocked it with my chainsaw, boy! Fuck. Oh! Okay, okay. Yeah! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here, Jack! Oh, you can see like teeth going off of that. 
Come on, boy! Ooh, please. I'm trying. I'm gonna try. I'm trying. You can't heal using normal herb. Oh, wait, yes, you can? Yeah, I can. I forgot. I... Was it already eight that you couldn't heal with normal herbs? You can't? I fight I every single Resident Evil game. game. I'm pretty sure in 8 they are just a crafting component, and that's what I was remembering. That sounds weird. I I, I don't I, even I, remember that. I, I, I think Ooh. that's what it is. I might be wrong, but I do not think you can heal with just the herbs in, in Village. I remember it being that way in this game, too. Oh, man. Okay. I need I to do it faster. Death. Where's death? Well, of course it would be to this. Okay, yeah, okay, people in chat are confirming that. Yeah, you, you can't heal with herbs in Village. I didn't even remember that. It's it's really, really weird. It's the only game to do that. I don't like that. But I somehow don't I mean, remember to have a problem with that? Huh. Yeah, because the thing is, the herbs are used as a crafting component for a lot of different resources in Village, so I don't really think it's a problem. All right, let's go back to it. Wish I could skip this cutscene, but all right. Yeah, that's one of the most annoying parts about this game. Eh, it's not that bad. Yeah. I don't know. Like when Let's you're doing go. the harder difficulties, it gets very repetitive. <laughs> the way he looked at you and not missed him. Oh shit, he's behind me. <laughs> he's just stumbling around all clumsily. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Oh, he was so fast there. Cause a cutscene. Oh. Not groovy at all. Oh, stop that! So fast. All right. <laughs> Two, three. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 like, okay. I'm such a sucker for like Resident Evil bosses that like take advantage of the environment in multiple ways too. Like I love that this arena has like these props that you can stun him with, but when he enters this phase, he can actually destroy them and there's like unique animations. And it properly you can probably take advantage, advantage of the environment to stun or, like, attack the enemies in different ways. Yeah, like, I, I love that so much. He takes advantage of the environment, you do as well. You, you. you can use it to stun him, but he can use, like, he can destroy those drops. Thrust attack! Get the fuck out. You're gonna get it now, boy! Oh, uh, and as the fight goes on, he opens up more of it so there's less places to, like, hide. Alright. Alright. Oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! You gonna die! D like, blocking is actually surprisingly important in this game! Yeah! Once you start playing on, like, Madhouse especially, if you don't block, you'll never beat it. You're dead. <laughs> Fuck you! That's it for you, motherfucker. Nice! 
Poyo Wan donates two dollars and says, "Just showed up. What's booking? Killing friends? I just killing an old guy." In the most gruesome way imaginable. <laughs> I I love this detail so much. He's doing it. He has determination. Like, Ooh. <laughs> The fact that Jack is so durable that when he's a pair of legs, he keeps walking. Stay dead, motherfucker. Like, okay, that right there is proof to me that, like, at the very least, Jack Baker, this old man in Louisiana, is more durable than Mr. X was. Mr. X couldn't have survived that. In fact, he didn't in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Exactly, he gets reduced to a pair of legs too, and that's the end of him. But Jack keeps getting up and walking. Keeps going. Hey, Pasta, when is your next stream? Like, Umbrella would be it's so embarrassed if they met this guy. Oh, I thought we we're gonna talk about Umbrella and their, like, relationship to this in Resident Evil 8. Oh, I can't wait. I can't. Also, oh, I can't Andreas wait. donates and says, Hey, Pasta, when is your next stream? Uh, actually, it's funny that you asked. I was talking before uh, the stream started. I haven't been streaming much because my internet in the old place I was living was really bad. Mm -hmm. However, I got a new internet provider, so I imagine I'll start streaming again uh, probably this November, because I'm, I'm definitely not streaming in October. My October is way too stacked when it comes to stacked. my schedule. Boss with streams return. I'm probably going to continue RE5 with my buddy AJ. Oh yeah, now I know why. It, uh, I'll, 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 we'll see about this later. When I we return to the house. I think I know what you're thinking of. When we return yeah, to the okay. house. Yeah, okay, you are thinking of what I was thinking. All right, let's go unlock that big fucking door. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm really excited about progressing too, because like, I think up until the final area of the game, I. I think the game just gets better with each new area. I, like, the re I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it, but the return is one of my favorite parts. Yeah, absolutely. Na, 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 na. Hello? Hello? Gamma? Hi, Gamma. Hi, Gal. Hello, Gamma. Was that you singing? You have a lovely voice. Na, na, Ooh. na, na, okay. na, na, na. Sorry. We killed Baker. Yeah, I saw. Go tell Aunt Rody. Go tell Aunt Rody. Okay, so let me get that handgun ammo, and where was the shotgun thing? I think that was in the attic. Yeah, um, yeah. you it was it was in the attic. It was behind, if I recall correctly, it was behind that door into Grandma's room. Right. Yes. So. We're going to leave these shotgun shells for later. By the way, I have no... I have... If I hadn't saved that handgun ammo in my item box, I would not have ammunition at all right now. This game is very unforgiving with your ammunition at the very start. I'd say yep. it's probably the meanest about ammo. Like Especially in Madhouse. Oh my god, yeah. Like <laughs> I'm struggling I'm struggling to think of a Resident Evil game where I struggled more with ammo than seven. I don't the... think there is one. Only one, right? He like went the back original to it. She went back to it, by the way. Hold on. For a second. Oh. <gasps> she did. She just Gamma, died. how you move so fast? Gamma got them legs. Even though she's in a wheelchair. Yeah. I was gonna say, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, well. Use the nitro on her wheelchair. Big fucking door one. Unlocked. God. And th I the game it. keeps opening up. This is like your new, like, mega location, like, mega connecting location. 
And yep. I think it's one of the coolest. I just love this sort of like outdoorsy look to it where you can just see every single major location from this one spot. I will probably take my psycho stimulants and like pave through this area because there is so fucking much in this area. For some reason, the outside of uh, the outside of the house where we currently are always reminded me of the mansion. Like specifically, I can kind of like, see it. like the outdoors of like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon specifically. Well, I haven't played that game. By the way, for for the for the ones that don't understand, like this this thing must be like <laughs> the fuck. Yeah, the that is my, uh, this, this right here, when you eventually get to go here, this is my favorite part of the game. Fucking, like, what the fuck is, like, this doom shit? What? Oh, yeah, you gotta love what that weird high-tech stuff and... <laughs> Skibby no, toilet. No, 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 <laughs> This game did it first. The oh, signs yeah. for it were all over. You just didn't notice. Resident Evil 7 warned us. About the threat. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna threat. say that. You, you have to check that. You know that meme of like, th this meme is from the future. You don't understand it yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Repair kid. Lucas Baker watches Skibbity Toilet. He would the be the kind button. of motherfucker. Oh, he absolutely would. He watches Skibbity Toilet. He is a redditor. He absolutely Lucas is a Baker redder. is a redder. For those who don't don't know who Lucas Baker is, you'll agree later. Like beyond a shadow of a doubt. I have never used the separating agents. Yeah, neither have I. Mm. I mean, it's useful if you don't know how to conserve your resources, but all right, useful where if you're was... a chump. Fucking chump. I think this is where the. Yep. It's so tucked away, like, like you don't see it until you until you like explore. Really mess around. It won't open, and there is some missing thing over here. I love, by the way, also that you can use other items for this. Yeah, for some reason. It's fun to just play around with. It's fun. You can tell you can tell this is a mechanic that a developer had a lot of fun playing around with. You can tell when oh, like absolutely. developers have fun with like very specific mechanics. Anyway. That's everywhere, man. It's like so many resources. Anyway, the basically your hub area. Go to the closet. It, it even has like a VHS like Yeah. Thing. Watch analog core. Maybe it's Zoe's. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Resident Evil. A very astute observation. I mean, it is. Oh, broken handgun. I wonder. Yeah, you can also repair that. Well, obviously, the shotgun is way better. Anyways. Mm. Supplements. Pills that affect the nervous system can be used as is. Make them into medicine first. Repair kit. Scorpion key, and we're gonna keep the lockpick, and we're gonna put in the separated agent, and the antique coin. I can actually use those now. Oh, uh, we can. Oh yeah, right. You're right. And we're gonna pick up the psycho stimulants. <laughs> yeah, you can use them here. Yeah. Steroids. Some fucking Do you guys Increase think max Zoe health to indefinitely. Get her own before or after the mold? That's not good. Because I can Stabilizer. see her Reloading sprees and speed increases indefinitely. But this. 44 mag. A lot of kickback. A lot of stopping power. So you need nine you coins it? to do that. But we only have seven. Woof. And honestly, the steroids are like really useful. Yep. Especially with where you're going next. Yep. My body's feeling weirder and weirder. Soon I'll become like mom and dad. It's all her fault. Should I run? No, I can't. If I'm I'm dead if she finds out. 
That woman she was with, Mia, she knows something. If I, if I had the serum, I could cure myself. I have to know more. This is absolute nonsense if you don't, like, pay attention to what's yeah. going on in the story. Mm. The family. That it's picture too always late looked for them. So, like, the picture always looks so odd to me because, like, the kids look perfectly normal, but Jack very clearly <laughs> looks like a model that's been imposed He's into the image. He's a recent evil character on, like, a real so, photo. Uh, like the rest of them, Evil Four mercenaries mode, uh, Victor screens. Yes, you know those. Yeah, or the or, so or Leon is in the subway and shit. Or the Rebecca Chambers like basketball like photo. Yeah, where it's just oh my god, yeah, where it's just the the, one the, the photo of her face on top of like a real person modeling like in a basketball outfit. So yeah, uh, like I know that the Magnum is powerful and all. But we kind of need to upgrade Ethan right now. So we will be using at least one for steroids. Don't worry, there's plenty of coins around. Ethan arrived in this house and immediately became a drug addict. Based. Based. Hellbilly time. <laughs> Alright. So the next is the old house. Um, Let me pick up that. The, the gun. Yeah. Is the broken handgun better than the than the Probably current not. one? Not not by that much, I think. Yeah, not enough to be worth it. Yeah. I don't even remember what like what that one did differently. Now we're oh. gonna be now we're gonna be cheeky. You wanna you wanna be cheeky? Let's be cheeky. We're gonna like save right now. And we're gonna go outside. <sighs> Hold on a Every second. Every single time. Hold on a second. Yeah, Zoe. <laughs> I'm in kind of in the middle of something here. So what is it you need me to do? Is it gonna help me get out of here? Yes. Now listen carefully, Ethan. My family and I, our bodies are contaminated. Relatable. I can't leave the property unless I get it out. And the same goes for Mia. Is there a way to get it out? We need the serum. It should clear whatever this stuff is out of the body. I yeah, the serum. I gone. totally know what that is. <laughs> All right. So where is it? If I knew where one was, I'd already be long gone. But I have a feeling my mother has hidden some inside the old house somewhere. So if we get this thing, I can help me and we can get out of here? Right. And so can I. The old house is near the water. You can't miss it. All right. I love the concept of the old house. Mother. Your mother? I do too. Because... Okay. To explain, the old house, for those that do not know, is the original Baker residence that got flooded and, like, sank into the Louisiana swamp. And they had to redo a completely different house away from the old house. Just, like, a few meters away. So, like... This house, even though it's not a mansion, it becomes even bigger because in the Baker property, they had another house just near that one that got flooded in. It's like, it it, it it contributes into this like feeling of like, yeah, this is not a rich person's like giant mansion of horrors. This is just like a family of generations like being stuck in this one place as like nature tries to take it over. And like, yeah. that's what I was saying earlier when I was talking about how much I love the way this game explains everything. Yes. Because you've got this random family living in Louisiana, but there's a reason for all these different sprawling locations. There's a reason for all the puzzles and all the weird blocks. So the game's able to make this like really simple concept work to feel like classic Resident Evil without it needing to be some like big rich, like pharmaceutical company running everything. So there's a herb here. Umbrella. 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 Okay, so there's a herb there. And... And... So Did I get everything? Oh, wow, I got everything. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Chem fluid. The motherfucker. And... What? It's probably behind the like, behind the trailer from the park. Outside? Yeah. 
Oh, wow. And it's shotgun shells, too. That is... Okay, that's good. And now we're gonna be cheeky motherfuckers and... Start the game. Oh. <laughs> it took me a minute to realize what you were doing. Okay. Okay. That's why... That's why... That's why these this item is not in Resident Evil 8. Cause cause survival horror players are cheating scum. <laughs> Got the cam fluid. Strong. You know, I literally never once even thought of the application of that. Get fucked, did you? Just like play play the game right. <laughs> Damn, damn, okay. Play to win! Play to win! <laughs> um, um, okay, damn! <laughs> That's the first thing I did on my first playthrough when, when I got the, the supplements. Play to win, this motherfucker! First time I realized you could do this, by the way. <laughs> oh, fuck. Play to win! Okay, okay. So, some people, some people in chat are confused. Okay, so, what he did, there is an item in the game that is a drug that when you take it, shows you the locations of all the items in the area. So what he did was he saved the game, <laughs> then used the drug to find everything, then loaded back and collected them all now that he knew where it was. So now he just has the drug and he never used it. Play to win! <laughs> and he can use it every time now. As long as he, ha he has one. Yep. <sighs> Ew! Bugs. Welcome to the old house. This is the Resident Evil. Ew. This is the Resident <laughs> Evil Seven equivalent of the Resident Evil One guardhouse, but instead of plants, it's these fucking They're things. Bugs. Yes. Can I just? Can I, can I just say that? Uh... In, in, in modern Resident Evil games, we need more of the Resident Evil trope of just this is a bug, but it's really fucking big. Big this fucking time. bug. The like, the, I'm the T virus just makes bugs big. Whatever the fuck's going on here just makes bugs big. Like genuinely, like I know I know to some people it's it's a good thing that they were removed, but I kind of miss the giant tarantulas in RE three and RE two. It's so eighties, like fucking weird, like horror movie. Shit. I know. I She's love upstairs. Them. Don't go up. Fucking Don't hell. Up. Yeah, the the bugs are very annoying, but you can man you can manage them. Fun fact: you can get rid of most of the bugs by just like swiping with your knife. It looks like I have some sort of plan for a flamethrower. I wonder why that is. I really wonder. Hmm. Fucking get the fuck out of here. Found the bug. This area always makes me feel like itchy because I get that like ah. feeling that like bugs are crawling all over me. You can hear yeah. them. Old house, old house map. Is this in VR? Oh, in VR, that must be a nightmare. Ugh. And we don't have the spider thingy for the door. Look at Ethan holding a knife like uh. a fucking menace. I know, I love- I was saying this earlier, I love how awkward he looks when he's swooping be like, swapping between weapons, because just his arm moves, nothing else. <laughs> Swoops really fast. Like, the rest of his body is perfectly oh, still. No. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, oh, Ethan, no. what are you doing? Oh, no. Ethan! There's Ethan! A a time, Ethan! <laughs> he's appreciating the arts. <laughs> It's a spider! No, it's the lack of the spider. It's symbolic. Oh, okay. Never oh. mind. I understand. Okay, there we go. You can now carry <laughs> more items. He really miss his wife. He really misses his wife. <laughs> he looked at the painting of that spider and he's like, you don't My know wife. Enough. My wife. This picture lacks a spider. Just like, I lack my wife. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do I have more gunpowder? I would really like more ammunition. Yes. I miss my wife, Jack. I miss her a I lot. I miss her a lot. <laughs> and I'm fucking nailing this shit. Like, survival horror, get the fuck out. I love survival horror. I would... <laughs>
I, I am, I'm sorry, like, yeah, this game is very unforgiving when it comes to, like, ammunition and resources, but, like, 50, 51 bullets right now. <laughs> yeah, like, it's really unforgiving if you just go and use everything, like, willy-nilly and you don't care to explore. Oh, if you're, like, new to survival horror, like, this game is scary as shit and is unforgiving. Dude, I, I, I kid you not, like, my brother, oh my god. My brother's first survival horror game was this one, uh, when I introduced him and my sister to the series, and he went through the entire old house with just his knife. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I know this fucking game. Wait, what? The, what? What? What's, what's yeah, happening there? Don't worry about it. I told you I know this yeah. fucking game. <laughs> Those assholes are so annoying to shoot down, but you can just do that, and they just like, yeah, just one shot dead. I love the stark contrast between Ethan very like flimsily like pointing the knife forward and, and then the bugs exploding. exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ew. Those are so fucking annoying. I feel like I feel like this area is like ten times scarier if you're like an arachnophobe, but like Oh yeah, if you if you're scared of bugs. Like bugs are kinda like I don't know. Like yeah. I've never, I've never been too much of an arachnophobe myself. I always just thought spiders were cool. Yeah. I love, by the way, that these are not really. Th this is not a. This, these are not models, by the way. This is a texture. Yeah. Oh. Like even though it's... you can, you think that this is like a poly model. This is literally oh, just a texture with I a really aggressive height map. Mean. Yeah. This is really cool. Anyways, <laughs> fuck this room. I thought that was the door where, like, the thing happens when you try opening it. I also thought. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta save his wife. The amount of times I've seen people, like, stream this game or just play it in group calls where, like, the same joke of average Australia household comes up. It's Louisiana. <laughs> it's Wait, basically big... U.S. Australia. <sighs> Fuck this big shit. Bug fill. Oh, nice. Wow. Wow. I didn't even see where that bug was. <laughs> oh. Ethan's got that strength in him. All right. And burner nozzle. Fuck you! Yeah! This weapon sucks. Except yeah. if you're in this area. <laughs> yep. This area is the only one where it's actually useful. Yeah, I can't really think of any other applications of it. <laughs> no, no, literally. It's like the later boss fights are actively hindering yourself to use it. It is. It does do damage. It's just that it doesn't stagger anything. No. And you need stagger for Resident Evil bosses. I Anyways. think you really like, you really learn how bad the flamethrower is specifically when you're playing stuff like Ethan must die and it's the mm -hmm. only weapon you get. Mm -hmm. The light, the light weirdness, like it, it makes the entire screen go black. Yeah, I don't know why. Is it like a realism thing? I Maybe because you see like a really bright thing and then your eyes have to adjust or something. I don't know. I don't know. Never use a flamethrower. <laughs> Uh, flame rounds. No, I need the uh, this. Yeah, I guess it's re like really, really useful against Marguerite when she's down. Mm -hmm. All right, get the fuck That's out of here. That's actually how it works. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> ah! <laughs> There we go. I think. This is actually just how it feels when you have like a real wasp nest in your house. You don't need to, you're not obligated to like break any other ones, by the way. But that's like the one. The rest are just like environmental stuff. Oh, wait. wait when did, why didn't you go there? Uh, I hear a bubble head somewhere. Or maybe I'm just hallucinating. Or maybe it's there. Uh, Coco you? donates. Uh, Coco donates $5 and says, Flamethrowers actually do do that to your eyes. Oh. Oh. 
It's Never really, knew. really near, nearby. <gasps> Bitch! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anti coin. Whenever you see like a random shelf somewhere, like there's a 90% chance that there's a hidden item there. The attention to detail is just. <gasps> hey! Oh, this is one of my favorite cutscenes. <laughs> Oh, hold on woman. a sec, hold on a second, wife. I'm picking up this uh, stone statuette for my puzzle. Anyways, bye bye. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you can't just leave, by the way. I want some answers. I know. I know. That's why I was scared. I you're right, and I always wanted to tell you, but but I just I can only remember a little, and the rest is just gone. <laughs> Yoink. Dad, right? You mind if I uh, borrow mommy for a little bit? <laughs> Asshole. Uh, uh, okay. Why don't you stand there? Do, Do something. something. God, I love Lucas Baker. What a prick. I love every one of his line deliveries. Just the. What if I mar borrow mommy for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> you did that really good. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> there we go. That was the door. Ew! 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 Spiders! Ew! Ew. Now, obviously, if you go in there, Marguerite's gonna get you. Oh, bitch, bitch ass. I can see shit. By the way, I know that, accident. Nick, I know that you don't like the old house, but it has my favorite horse sequence in the game. Mine too. <laughs> Which one? That part in the room. I can't spoil it. That it part is... in the room. There's yo, a yo. specific scare in here. There's a specific scare oh, in this area oh, that I won't oh, go into oh. detail about. But it is the worst a game has ever got me up until I played Village. Yep. Hey, I, I, I know I know a few possible parts you might be referring to. Also, Marguerite is just walking around, by the way, now. And also, I, I saw some people say that I can do a good southern accent. That's because the area I grew up in. Like, I live in a super rural province of Canada. So I hear people with that exact accent constantly where I live. Shit, I didn't have enough to open this up. Oh, fuck. Let's see if we can... Ew, not worth it. I thought for a minute you actually didn't take it. <laughs> I checked. Uh, Ew. Stinky. <laughs> Let me just... Yucky. Should I take it? No, only when I'm, like, in danger. She's right there. You, you thought? Well, I can't hear her. <gasps> Believe it, baby! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did she not see you? No. Oh! He's still gonna see you! I thought for a minute she didn't see you again. Yeah, what the fuck? She has cataracts, she's an old lady. Give her a break. Wow, language! <laughs> lady, we're on stream! I'm trying to defend you. Wow. Lady, this is a PG stream on the Fiznom channel. Yeah, the toxic cesspit is very PG. <laughs> We're very PG here. Golly. Golly jolly. Sippity doo da. <gasps> Fuck you now. <laughs> yeah, this is why I hate this section, because there's the bugs and the fact that Margaret's stalking you through the whole section, or most. Anyways. And she you, leaves um, this. If you're willing to spend the resources, can't you, like, kill her or stun her by just choosing to fight? Yes. Yeah, but... She uh, is actually killable. Uh, it's not worth it. Not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> Get out of there. Uh, you missed so, something, I think? Oh, I know. No, I just no, no. I just gotta do the puzzle first. You know, I know this is gonna <laughs> sound like a very niche thing for me to, like, uh, for me to, like, talk about, but, like, I really like it in horror games when there is a monster whose presence is represented by, like, a bright light 
Yes. Because, like, I love it whenever you can, like, see the light coming around, like, a corner, and you're like, oh, shit, I gotta go. Don't go towards the light, Ethan. I always just found that so neat. Oh, the, the <laughs> fucking you. bugs. Ew. Is the pattern on fire anymore? Is it the set pattern? Thank you, Ethan. Fuck. Yeah, thank you. These, this is a texture again, also, by the way. Yeah, I was gonna say, these centipedes also look like a texture, like what you were talking about. Yep, it's a texture, but it like, it looks like a model. And the way that the FPS is like low on them makes it like the extra creepy. Uh, thank you, Tony, for the $5. Question for Phil. Is the pattern on fire random, or is it a set pattern? It's a set pattern, just like hand-drawn. But it, it kind of looks random, because like, we have like, random positions. Like, like, like I, I had to, like, make a, like, large texture for them. Oh, shit, is this the moment? I shit. I think it is. Alright. Mm. I think I have enough resources for this. Just need to, like, grab this really quickly. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh, no, it's not. This nope. is not the crow key. Interesting. It's great to revisit games that you love, like, after a few years and, like, <gasps> just forgetting about those key details that make you wonder. Ew. Yeah, like, it's fun to, like, if you really enjoy a game, it's really enjoyable just to, like, play it over multiple times to, like, try and get better at it, but, like, revisiting it after you've had, like, a long break from it is even nicer. Dude, I purposefully made myself forget one shot by never looking at anything about it after I played it. And now, after five years of that, I finally don't know anything about one shot again, and I'm gonna play it as if it was the first time on stream. Oh, that's gonna be wonderful. One shot is such a good game. I specifically made myself forget. Which I'm, is like I'm fucked so up. Or, <laughs> that's fucked up, but I specifically said I am going to forget this game so I can experience it again. I am the I same way you. with Undertale. Oh, <laughs> I, I did the same thing with Undertale. I refuse to play Undertale. Like, I, I only will play Undertale like maybe once a year, even if I do. Bro erased his memory on purpose. Sadly, I could not do that with Undertale because, like, and nobody would shut the fuck up about it. But one shot right. is, like, relatively obscure by comparison. Couldn't you get the shotgun by this point? Yeah. I feel like. You'll be able to would. get it, like, an hour ago. Where the fuck is the shotgun? It's in the, 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 the other house. Yeah, oh, wait, I the, know in the that. Main house. You, I... you go upstairs to where you watch that tape with Mia, and there should be a door to Grandma's room that you could yeah. unlock. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I didn't use the scorpion key on that. Okay, I'm gonna get the shotgun for that. Like, I'm not gonna go past that part of the old house without yeah, it. Yeah, just remember the, the, the dog mob creature that's around here. Oh, yeah, no, that's later. No, no, that's later. That's later. Don't worry. Don't spoil it. <laughs> that's, like, the only other fucking, like, scary enemy. All right. I miss dogs in this game. There should have been molded dogs. That's what I'm saying. This game has like, this game is so good, but the enemy diversity, there's just none of it. There get, should have you, been molded dogs. Like sure, you get the four legged molded that jump around, but they're not the same. Mm -hmm. They're not, they're not, they're not the same. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> they're supposed to be dogs. They're supposed to be dogs. Actually, the, the the insects, the insects in the old house break through the window similar to how the dogs would in Resident Evil One, but it's nowhere near as fucking cool as dogs. No. Uh, let me get what the a, scorpion. What key. about the gators? The gators aren't a DLC. Doesn't count, idiot. Oh yeah, right. Like. That, that was one thing about the original Resident Evil that, like, I think that was one of the strongest parts about the original Resident Evil is that game has a crazy amount of enemy diversity. Has the zombies, the hunters, the fucking... The, 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 all the insects. The fucking sharks! In the, remake. the sharks, it's yes! Sharks. I keep... The oh. giant spider, giant snake. Man, that game is still awesome. I fucking finish it, Resident Nick! <laughs> Dude, like, out of, out of, like, the, I guess you could call it, like, basic enemies, out. like, 
I don't like the, the the basic enemies in Resident Evil. Um, I don't I don't know if you'd actually consider them basic enemies. I just am calling them out for the sake of simplicity. But like the hunters are my favorite. Broken so, shotgun. Like, uh, yeah, I still need to finish that game. I got really far, but I, I just, you, you just not at some point. And, and then I went know? back, and I didn't know what, what I was going. That's such no. a big fucking mistake for survival horror. Yeah. I'm tired uh, of chasing fuck. all these shitheads around the yard. I'm tired of chasing all these shitheads around the yard. <laughs> the next time one of our guests runs away, hide the dog head relief so that it can't get out of the house. I already got that. Get the burner. Convenient. Cam fluid. But yeah, Shotgun um, shells. RE1 is the only mainline game I haven't finished. Dear Mrs. To. Baker, how have you been feeling recently? It's been a long time since you came in for your last checkup. I'm writing to tell you that I've finished examining your x-rays. Those dark areas in your cranium are fungus-like structures that seem to be related to mold. The hallucinations and noises you said you've been hearing may be related to these growths. If your symptoms are due to a fungal parasite, it must be removed before it's too late. I don't mean to scare you, but I am seriously concerned about your health. Please come to the hospital as soon as you read this letter. As your doctor, I, am, I strongly recommend you undergo further tests. Crawford Lang, Dolby General Hospital. Okay, <sighs> this note, this particular note confuses the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're because... going to talk, talk about lore? Okay, good. Go. Yeah, because, okay. Um... Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to like get my point across without spoiling DLC. No, don't worry, you can. I don't think I'm like that DLC is not. You can. Uh... I won't go into what. Okay, we 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 Shit. know that she... us in chat. We know she's infected with a fungus, right? Yes. So for the sake of discussion, I will not bring up how she got infected. Yes. We will just bring up the fact that she is in the DLC for this game that shows how they got infected. She got infected instantly. Mm -hmm. Like, she got infected instantly. There was no, like, dramatic buildup or anything. But that note implies that it was a gradual process. There is a DLC for this game where it basically tell it basically you play as a member of the Baker family and you see them turning the moment that they turned, you know? Yeah. Uh, now, yeah, my I... explanation... Uh, you, you, got, you got an explanation, Nick? No, 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 no. Keep going. Okay, sorry. Uh, my explanation for that is that, you know, Mia, the way that she acted in the beginning of Resident Evil 7, this game, mm. yeah. my idea is that they displayed the symptoms of infection immediately once it happened, but then it receded back. Like, they turned back to normal, and then they went about their day, and they just slowly started creeping back up after that, in my opinion, you know? Right. That, like, okay, that makes sense to me, because that always confused me, because it always felt like, it, it felt like the writers of this game didn't know whether or not the infection was, like, an instant thing, or it was, like, a gradual process that slowly took over their mind. In my opinion, it's very That's much like bullshit, the... but... <laughs> okay. In my opinion, it's very much like Mia at the very beginning where she has control and then she suddenly just fucking loses it for no goddamn reason. Like, I think that's what happens slowly to the Bakers. And like, there are moments where like they're lucid and there are moments when they're not. And eventually as the year pa as their years passed, they just right. completely lost it permanently. I, s I suppose that does make sense because in that DLC, there is a moment where like, the infection seems to like stave off for a moment. Yes. So I, I guess I, I can live with that as being an explanation. I now just there's some the shit that happens. That. There's some shit that happens specifically with Marguerite in the bathroom in that DLC. That's like, how the fuck can you be normal after that? Yeah. But... But <laughs> that's the thing is like the events of that DLC feel so final. Like this is it. After this, like Resident Evil Seven just happened. Yes. So it just doesn't make sense to me. All right, now we got the shotgun. So I guess we're gonna go into that room and fight whatever the fuck I need with the shotgun. I wasn't paying attention, but is that the broken 